for recording's sake, uh, we'll go ahead and just get like player introductions out of the way, just for future reference. Uh, sure. I'll start. Uh, hi, I'm Darkjack. I run this channel and I do stuff on the internet sometimes. I'm running the game today, uh, which is a Fly Fear or Die, uh, a Starfinder Adventure Path by Paizo. Uh, I guess we'll just go down the list. Uh, Icky, introduce yourself. <laughs> Not character introductions. We'll get that out of the way soon enough. <laughs> I'm just a dude playing with a bunch of other dudes. Hell yeah, brother. Fair, fair. Pink, pinked. I'm just a dude playing with a bunch of other dudes. <laughs> Bob, yeah, Pete, Bob cause we're not gay. <laughs> uh, Are we just Alex? doing this in various voices of that? Uh, my name's Alex. Hey, you skipped me. <laughs> You're not on my list yet. Alex is first. Uh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking it's at mine. mine. Mine's different. I'll take a screenshot. Don't don't think I won't. Yeah. I'm also just an I want this dude. on the record. I want this on the public record. All right. Hell yeah. Um, just another dude playing with other dudes. Sky. Wow. Uh, Again, it's, it's like it's you're your literally boy, last on my guy. list. It's me. It's your boy, Sky guy. And I'm just here to uh, play Smash with the boys before we smash the boys. Uh, to be fair, I I'm did. going off the Discord list, you, not the Foundry smash? list. Yeah, like, bruh. Hell yeah. Well, not these boys but the boys you know what i mean trying to smash the boys eh yeah After we trying to, trying to smash boys. bro smash i'm not gonna role play this boys. by the way i blush uh, <laughs> don't role play this <laughs> <laughs> and of course sep yes of course sep at the very end of this alphabetical oh, yeah. list <laughs> Last, but also it, it's the discord. discord one not the i am sorry a man playing a game with children <laughs> Wait, that, that didn't fair. come out right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fair, but the police are on their way. Anybody got FBI on speed dial? Already, uh, they've already been listening. It's not a oh, problem. Yeah, yeah um, they're always listening. And then, always. The proper authorities have been Wait till they find out where I stashed the drug. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. Inside the kids. Um, also oh. for... <laughs> no, this ain't MTS and, and, least, and also for... Suspicion. for uh recording sake my hearing is currently impaired so if i'm really loud or i ask people to repeat themselves that's why that's happening it's just because i can barely hear right hey. now what hey jack say? can you edit what you said together with this next part uh <laughs> it's backs packs yes <laughs> for legal reasons uh, that was a joke yeah Every, it's all role play here it's just a different type oh, of role play it? you know Oh. Actually, yeah, I just had a realization. Yeah, it was stu like that ER hiding thing. drugs within kids would be like the perfect thing because, like, who the fuck would want to search right. the kids? Okay. Yep. You gonna be the um, guy that touches the kid? No, I'm just saying. How about we, before we actually get on a watch list, <laughs> let's play the game first? Yeah, let's do that. Before, um, let's at least get before. a session before the FBI take us all away. So. You guys have tr currently been traveling in space for the last about a week now, um, as you guys are headed for Castravel, a kind of jungle planet. Um, and I'm actually going to use this opportunity to get people into um, uh, into uh, character here in just a moment. I'm just kind of like setting the scene for everybody that's currently for, like for recording purposes. Uh, you guys are currently the crew of the uh, BD-514, a transportation vessel meant for goods uh, that is owned by the Evgayan, I believe, the Evgayan Jameson Corporation, Evgayan, something like that. I always get it fucked up for some reason. Um, the Evgenia, the I'm sorry, the Evgenia Jameson Corporation, also known as Edgecorp. Uh, as it's uh, officially known by some that work for the company. Uh, just the company usually works. Thank you. <laughs> for swirling around my dot. Um, <laughs> and I guess I want to take this moment to kind of let everybody on the ship introduce themselves. So um, I'll, I'll start with Sep. Uh, Sep, I would like you to describe your character, kind of what they look like, what they're doing on the ship, and what their kind of role is on, on board as well. In that order, it doesn't matter. Just because like I've already forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> my name, my character's name is Razor Crudbump. He is a space goblin, green in color. He is the pilot of this ship, and oh lord, there is his disgusting mug now. <laughs> Look at it in fear, or 
attraction, whatever you want. One of those. Edit down an image. Did you Photoshop that? No. You, you old, found that. He's not really that beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it's a real picture. <laughs> not photoshopped. Uh, damn. It's, it's what he actually no, looks like. All natural, no filters, please. There's a little please. bit of a glare filter on there. Please. Oh, I guess that's it. the glare off his shiny fucking head. Uh, <laughs> lens flares. Um, anything else you would like to add? Like, uh, kind of like your role in the ship, uh, how you interact with most other people, Ace stuff like that. Pilot is my role. <laughs> the weathered pilot of this stinky corporate vessel, and that is all. All right. Um. I guess we'll go uh, Sky next. Uh, I'd like you to introduce your character, kind of what they look like, and the role, general role on the ship is usually. Oh, uh, actually, before we continue, I have a question. Yikes. I might have an answer. Um, alignment doesn't matter, right? We're not doing alignment, that. There is, there is still yeah, alignment. I'm... It's just roleplay purposes for right now. Yeah. Okay. You may be long in the trash. Excellent. So, um, uh, so as we can see, there's this weeb garbage on screen because I can find <laughs> nothing better. Uh, playing I'm as Ash garbage. Historian, a uh, human vanguard who uh, I assume is kind of just the muscle of the crew <laughs> when, uh, you know, going gets tough on cargo hauls and, you know, they do. Some people like to think they're going to get away with things uh and yeah that destiny 2 logo pretty simple <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll edit this out for copyright purposes later <laughs> um all right if there's anything else you wanted to add about how your general interactions with the crew can be um yeah there's there's too many new people on this ship got to break them in <laughs> All right, uh, Icky. Uh, introduce your character. Kind of what they act like, what they do on the ship <clears throat> generally. My character's name is uh, per Biddy Svitvor. Butcher that actually. <laughs> I oh, I'll well, do it more. I was just saying it right. <laughs> um, just a, I guess a bit of background. My character, he's um, <coughs> a purist. Is a uh, the lightest way I'll put it. <laughs> He's been um, drafted yeah. into the Pack World military and s served as a, I guess, an expendable unit uh, on the on the BD five one four ship. He's a new hire. You you know looking to get away from um, the military. Doesn't really know much about his past because uh, his mind got wiped. So, you know, that's cool. It's always fun. Yeah. Did I miss something? No, I don't. Uh, it's share as much as you feel comfortable sharing for your character right now. If there's anything you want to leave out for your own sake or uh, for roleplay purposes later, that is absolutely fine. Just kind of wanted to introduce the characters here. Yeah, you know, he's also a mystic, so he's obligatory, like, high, like, all the time. So. <laughs> as mystics do. You have to be, yeah. It's part of the job yeah. description. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Then uh, I would like Alex to kind of describe your character, what they look like, uh, what they do on the ship, and kind of like what what they just kind of are doing right now. Well, I would have to describe what they look like. Don't you got a picture? There I go. do have a picture, but you can describe anything that might Hello. be contradictory uh, to the picture if you like. My character, his name is Belosi or Belos. I really don't know how to put, fucking spell Belosi, so I just kind of went with that. Uh, amnesiac android woke up on Absalon Station one day, kind of hazy. I was kind of a bum for a little bit before uh, some kind soul decided to give them a an opportunity to join this ship. Mm -hmm. And yeah, aside from that, interactions are I'm new. Interactions are they're new. They're trying to do their best. They're kind of like, they're kind of depressed because like, they know they forgot a bunch of shit, but they're just trying to figure out things. And they figured traveling the stars or at least traveling this like system would kind of like help reinvigorate the, the memory. Hmm. Hmm. 
But yeah, uh, aside from that, yeah. Then last, but definitely not least, uh, I would love uh, Pink to go ahead and describe your character and kind of what's going on with them. <laughs> Attention all passengers, this is your captain speaking. Uh, let me welcome you aboard the BD-514. Uh, we should be reaching Castrovel uh, pretty soon, around uh, 523 local time, uh, depending so on whether or not we decide to actually go there. Um, I didn't vote this. A little bit more about me, your captain. Uh, Richard Blevins, aka Samurai, is a, a streamer of pretty much no renown. <laughs> and uh, he lucked into that number one victory royale, uh, winning a, the Before Night competition back on a Akatan. Um, he quickly spent all of his money on subscriber giveaways. And uh, he, he was left with pretty much nothing and no viewers. And um, this is now his like YouTube red show as he desperately tries to switch gears and uh, pivot. They call it in the industry for those unaware. Uh, he's trying to pivot to gain some more subscribers. So basically what you're saying is you're streaming all of her illegal activity. Well, yeah, it depends constantly. on if you're showing any illegal activity. <laughs> There is that part to, to mention. Yeah, generally, streaming it. generally, most of your jobs are completely un, uh, uh, completely on the line. Like they're they're pretty pretty much legal. Maybe you know morally questionable, but otherwise completely legal. Uh, perhaps there's some stuff here and there that may be a little sketch, but that's just the way it is. Um, so you guys have uh, been flying over to Castroville for the past few days uh, under uh, your next job. You were supposed to be meeting at Pratt's Produce on Castroville and uh, Cabaret as a, uh, a job to pick up some yarrow berries, uh, something that is usually a seasonal uh, fruit on Castroville and usually a delicacy, but uh, it's very plentiful during the season. However, on other planets, it's considered very much a delicacy and usually sells for something about 10 credits a bowl, which is quite a bit. Uh, so being able to sell it on like a planet like Akaton, which is what you're kind of uh, conscribed to do uh, in, in your next contract, uh, is is pretty much uh, a g literal gold mine of fruit. Uh, however, you What's probably the fruit called again? Yarrow berries. Yarrow um, berries. The unfortunately, that literal gold mine, you guys know that you will probably see very little of it. If you deliver, uh, like well before the due dates you know that your company might give you a bonus which is always nice but ultimately uh, you don't get paid a whole lot for this job sorry i was just reading something um which is always a damper on things as usual uh right now you guys are currently lowering into orbit on castorvel the currently you've caught yourself in a bit of a uh storm as the high winds and uh, heavy rainfall is kind of bumping the ship all around uh, and it's at that point uh, Razor on your front dash this kind of holographic image uh, yellowish tint of this uh, elderly fellow who you recognize to be Tarn Jameson the founder of the company this is the ship's AI computer uh, not actually Tarn oh. Jameson as he just goes hello Razor it's always nice to see you uh yeah uh, um i gotta remember my accent for this <laughs> oh hey there uh jameson famous um, how are you doing today oh well as i am the ship's computer i'm always doing quite swell i'll thank you very much i am uh on here to inform you that we are in fact enter atmosphere on castrovel something that you have completely been aware of for the past five minutes now yes yeah uh, being the ship's pilot and all Shall I wake well, the other crew members and let them know that we have oh, arrived? Oh, yes, definitely. As loudly as possible. <laughs> His uh, face now contorts into a megaphone as all throughout the ship's comm system, a uh, loud yelling uh, appears and it says, You have now reached Castravel. Please wake up and stop what you're doing as you are now on the clock. <coughs> oh, my. This has been Tarn Jameson of... Evgen um <laughs> I completely forgot the name again. Uh Evgenia Jameson Corporation. <laughs> Remember, take it to the edge, and the uh, voice flickers out. 
Boy, do I love edging. <laughs> well, who said that? that? Who was that, that? A big guy? I hear a big guy on the ship. <laughs> it's a, Is that supposed to be Richard Blevins? No, I did. I actually, I opened up the thing, but I, it was still set to big guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do have I do have the the telepathy ready to go though. <laughs> right, right. Hey, um, my lazy varmints, <laughs> let's get going. Uh, currently the ship is being knocked around many different ways, and that's around the time when uh, on your comm units, uh, the general AI directory of the uh, of Cabaret, uh, one of the main cities in Castorvel, which is currently coming into view now, and I can show you guys a picture of that. Uh, Right now, that is Cabaret. Although, of course, the picture is a lot more stormy than it's uh, currently depicted as. What is that? Uh, don't question it. You you don't have to deal okay. with it, so it's good. <laughs> um, that is a bat. The AI directory on the comm unit uh, picks up your designation. It says, uh, BD-514, you are currently directed to land in Starport uh, A3 at ship's end. Any deviation uh, will be marked and locked. All right, Roger that. Go ahead and land that right there, pilot. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, don't talk over me. I'm the pilot I was here. Just I was just responding to the... Uh, all right, all um, right, big shot. Now, listen, if we got to talk sweet to somebody, I'll let you talk, but landing procedures is my domain. I, well, I guess I can't argue with that. No, you can't, big brain. All right. A firm. Uh, Roger that. Come in nice and clean. Uh, and the transponder flickers out. And there's a little bleep on your computer system showing you where you're supposed to dock. Um, I'm but unfortunately. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, however, due to the uh, abnormal atmospheric conditions, I will require a piloting check. All right, bet. <laughs> First roll of the game. First roll of the game. Let's hope it's a one, right? Just like the practice. Um, piloting. Just like the simulations. Yep. <laughs> simulations. Ooh. Oh my rough. god, yeah. It's a 20, But it's a though. 20. It doesn't even yeah. matter. Um, regardless of how the ship's being tossed and turned, you'll be able to adjust it just fine and uh, start landing on A3, uh, the docking pad that you were... I think that's the one I said, A3. Uh, and may be able to land just fine. So, uh, you have your job, you're on planet. What do you guys want to do? <clears throat> your first steps. So, so, we're, so we're, just to recap, we're supposed to go wandering in the woods to find some yarrow berries, or is there a contact? No, no, no. You're, you're, you're supposed we're to meet up with the. You're okay, picking up picking cargo. Up yeah, you don't, you okay, don't make the cargo. Yeah. <laughs> We don't. We don't do that here. I forgot we were in the wrong channel. There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. It is my way. All right. Anyway, as were. Oh. Right. Yeah, we don't. We don't do that around here, Richard. We uh, we just pick stuff up. I wasn't really saying it in character, but uh, do we know who we're getting it from? Yeah, a yes. Mr. Runo Pratt, uh, proprietor of Pratt's Produce. Yep. Okay. Taken. Writing. So however, you guys down. want to proceed with that, by all means. You, hell, you don't even have to go there right away. You can decide you want to go into the four, the jungles um, of Castrovel. <laughs> is any of us familiar it. with this place, this planet, specifically this area that we're? I I have not been on the planet, but I do speak of the language. Same. Okay. I don't know if my storied history. I've been here. I would assume I've been can here I, before. Can I maybe infer something about the planet through some sort of role or? Um, <laughs> Some sort uh, of chance, you, maybe, on 1 to 20. If you have uh, any ranks in um, culture, you can go ahead and roll a culture check to learn more about Castrovel. Oh, we have to have I, ranks I in do. culture. Or recall information about Castrovel. You can, of course, also look on your uh, system of, like, your, your ship's computer. We'll have some data logs about various different planets, and you can always look up the infosphere of the planet itself. Well, as a gamer, I think I'm very cultured. 
You are very cultured. <laughs> That's a 25. <laughs> Uh, you know that Castrovel is the home planet of the Lashanta people. These uh, hu mostly humanoid in shape creatures. The only difference is that their skin is probably just a tad bit scalier uh, and multicolored. They also have these antenna that poke out of their forehead um, that allows them to speak telepathically to other creatures and also sense the thoughts of them as well. Uh, generally mm -hmm. a telepathic race of people. Very peaceful. Uh, more recently though, as they just came out of a very long war with Formians um, uh, that also live on the planet uh, themselves. They've been they've had a peace for about thirty years now, though. What was the main race called again? Uh, Formians. Oh. oh, the main race is Lashanta. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on top of that, there's also a more secluded continent on Castorvel uh, for elves uh, mm -hmm. who have made their home here as well. They don't generally let outsiders into their borders, but uh, the Formians. And the Lashanta people both uh, usually are perfectly fine with travelers. Okay, I relay none of that information. <laughs> I, I look up all this I, information on my... Honestly, <laughs> we, we have a ship right here. Yeah, no, I know. I, I just assume everyone just knows it. Yeah, we, got yeah, space, I mean, we got space Google. Like, I'm assuming that I would maybe know a bit of this based on my history. Now, do we use uh, Google in the future, or do we use Bing in the future? It's pretty much the same thing at this point. Ask like Jeeves. it's a Google Bing. About, I was ask literally Jeeves, about to think the same. about yeah. Ask Jeeves. I'll just ask <laughs> Jeeves about the planet. Ask it's stuck to go. Anyway. Mm. Oh well, maybe I'll get this <laughs> from somewhere else, somewhere secure. reliable. Okay. Um. So, are we landed in a spaceport? Correct. <laughs> yeah, you are at ship's <laughs> end. Three. A three. We use Microsoft Edge Core. <laughs> Was it called Ship's End? The the spaceport is called Ship's End. It is a small docking station. Uh, well, not not super small, but a, a sizable amount for the incoming traffic. Um, for okay, cabarets. Hello. Everybody, uh, prepare to depart. Make sure that you're wearing uh, any armor and or equipment that you're taking with you for our pickup. I'm and it's assuming uh, that I'm wearing my coveralls. Yeah, your Edge Corporation. More uh, casual coveralls. than, you know, heavy armor or something. So. Yeah, no, definitely. Did you just uh, subtract rations for the last trip from... No, 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 that's fine. That Game started happened. now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to come I'm out. ready to go. Yeah, yeah me too. I'm, I'm definitely um, walking out completely decked the fuck out. Yeah, I'm just doing <laughs> I'm doing some last minute checks on the engine Dangerous room, streets. but I head out promptly after I'm done. Yeah, you guys I'm do have to a... make sure they don't run your pockets, Razor. That's all. Yeah, you guys do have a all cargo right. rig, a company, uh, tr essentially like a truck meant for transferring cargo. Cyber truck. Sorry, uh, <laughs> back. Truck. Oh, that's all right. Shouldn't, um, shouldn't we take that, or should we just locate yeah, yeah, yeah. the cargo first? We you should can... probably go figure out how much of this we're actually taking true we can always come back right yes yeah, um yeah. to drive around though you probably would have to like hire a, a robo taxi or something you could just take your own car though yeah we're taking our own car yes yeah, what it's there for you know yeah. uh yeah then, car uh, people. company tesla you guys can generally look up the infosphere, like just Google search uh, Pratt's Produce and find its yeah. location easily. Yeah, and... I don't know, that looks like an old We're in a future. Honda hatchback. All right. <laughs> um, Let's so yeah, you... take old me out for a drive. What you're you saying old... is some of us are going to hang off or sit in the bed. Uh, I prefer to sit on the bed. We'll see the five. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Uh, some of you are sitting Three in the, in the bed, back, yeah. two in the front. What it's do you mean? A, one driver and four passengers. Is this a pickup or a sedan? It's a one pa one driver and three passengers. So yeah, somebody is sitting in the back. Wow. Uh, the future sucks. Uh, well, your company sucks, more like. A million uh, years in the future and we still I can't mean, get a fucking six-seater. Richard my, is definitely not sitting I'm, in the back. I am driving... So I have my anything my, I call shotguns. I got my booster seat in the driver's seat. I'm in the right back because I like to enjoy the wind running through my hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it, it is a very nice planet. Uh, it's just for anybody wondering, it's gravitational pull, it's mass, it's diameter. It's all pretty, very similar to 
uh, what we the players would consider Earth size mm -hmm. and all of those uh, standard measurements. So it feels just Excellent. about the same as Earth. On top of that, it is a very lush planet. So it's uh, like Brazil, the, the planet. All right. Pretty much. The <laughs> the right. inhabitants are very nature loving. They they always carry the uh, motto of if you cut one tree down, you plant ten. You know, just like Brazil. Yeah, pretty oh, much. We found ourselves <laughs> here. Uh, All right. So it is a very nice planet. Here. Oh, we you know they grow driving, berries. They grow bananas. Driving out of Ship's End, you guys do notice a fair amount of traffic going on. I, mo mostly in Ship's End, there is uh, other people that are coming in, different races as well, uh, that have their own business going on. But as you leave, you see like the various different uh, buildings that all seem to mesh very well with the surrounding nature. Um, you see a bunch of different people, uh, Lashanta, who are talking to each other, although you don't see their lips move and you pretty much discern that that's telepathy that they're using. As you're driving down the uh, roads, Richard, Wait, pick up can on I, any of this. Yeah, can I eavesdrop with telepathy? Like, can Not I, really. if they're speaking telepathically, I mean, like, can I make like a perception Private check to like eavesdrop with Not telepathy? really, no. No? One, okay. one, they're outside of your range, and like two, uh, sure, they, I meant, I meant, they haven't like, opened the a, channel to you. Yeah. Okay. So that means that wow. they can't listen to us, though, too. Pretty much. Well, I mean, they, okay. if you talk out loud, yeah, sure. They, like, well, no, I mean, them, if, they can hear if I'm you. doing the. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're talking telepathically, but other people can't like use your telepath telepathy to talk to each other, so they still have to talk to each other as normal. Well, if I maintain so you, the conversation thing, right? Not really. So like, uh, Razor can't talk to Ashlyn through your telepathy. Like, it just doesn't work that way. I thought that's what it's the, not an open channel the... for everybody. Yeah, like you can talk to somebody that way, but it doesn't work the other way around. Um, yeah, you you don't act as like a responder for everybody else's conversation. It's not how it works. Um, well, I, so you, okay. yeah, so you guys are heading towards uh, to Pratt's produce, correct? Yes. Yeah. Eventually, you do Driving. find it. Um, it is this uh, lovely little mom and pop type uh, grocer that uh, it does seem pretty or remarkably clean. Um, on the outside, uh, it appears there's some signs for some local deals that are going on inside, and it is like this big neon sign on the on the top of it that does read Pratt's Produce. Well, I'd say we're here, boys and girl. Already, I float out of the car. Yeah. Wait, what just uh, happened? I went to get it. I kind of I I wait for everybody to get out of the car before I jump off from the back. I'll leap out of my booster seat. <laughs> <laughs> do you got like bricks tied to like the pedals no it's, it's a booster seat official company issue booster seat yeah they want to make sure that they accommodate you know no you had to provide it yourself i know wow. I'm yeah. talking about of course not company, company imagine issue. them giving a shit company yeah. issue books to elevate the set <laughs> <laughs> this There's is no the operation manual exist. for the cargo rig do books still um, exist in this universe? Well, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Still, there's still paper. Yeah, absolutely. All right, all right, mystics. Okay. Um, yeah, how else are they gonna roll up their stuff? It's not like <laughs> the plant. There's every planet in the solar system is out of paper. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um. So you guys head on into Pratt's Produce, and there's a variety of shelves. Everything's very clean, but not sterile necessarily. Uh, lots of different neons uh, like different tv screens that are showing the local deals and whatnot and at the the front you uh see a female lashanta woman who uh, looks not super odd in her years but she's currently helping some customers uh who are just finished checking out you do notice that fair amount of other lashanta people all around that are uh talking to each other or just you know browsing for their own produce Okay. Is she is she done with the people or is she still? Yeah, she she waves them off and they head on their way. Okay, so then yeah, in Castrovellian, <laughs> telepathically. Hello, I believe we are ready to pick up some. Yards. I cannot understand a single <laughs> word. <laughs> she she speaks she's back. She's another telepathic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she she speaks back telepathically and she's like, I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand the accent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. 
The berries, lady, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Very aggressive, sir. Who the fuck are berries? It, is there any chance that she's got like a look on her face after that kind of aggression? Yeah, it's it's kind of like God damn it, customer service. Yeah. Where be the berries, my fair lass? I swear to God, better man. question for you. Where's Runo Pratt? We need to talk to him. Here's oh, one my. better question for you. Why are the berries? Uh, she kind of looks on your your uh, edge suit. Uh, most of you are wearing uh, edge utility suits. Here on behalf um, of EJ Corporation. And I can actually go ahead and just like go and show everybody the uh, general logo for Edge Corp. Uh, kind of looks like that, and that's that's kind of stapled on everyone who has like an edge utility uniform is currently wearing that. So that's everybody but Ashlyn. Um, I assume I've plastered that on my armor somewhere. Yeah, probably. Probably a shoulder pad. Um, you know, and typical. she looks at that and notices that you're looking for it, and she goes uh, uh, telepathically to uh, basically all of you. It's just like, oh, you must be uh, with Edge Corp. Yes, my father is in the back. You can find him there. All righty, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, kind of. Thank you, kind lady. Yes, you are very sweet, darling. All right. I'm going to go on back. Right. Um... And you head on to the back, and you see, like, the the uh, door that has, like, a kind of a meshed window that would suggest, like, a manager's office of some kind. And you open it up, and you see there is a man who's currently sitting on his desk, uh, elderly man. Kind of has, like, this one, uh, uh, one thing you've noticed about the guy is that instead of two antennas, one of them appears to have been clipped off at some point in his life. Uh, and there's this big gash from his eyebrow uh, all the way up his scalp. Um, Gross. And... This is what he looks like. Oh, God. This ugly motherfucker. Uh, oh, no. He's God damn, he must have been made fun of a lot. <laughs> that was very interesting. He's currently um, looking at his data pad, and he seems to be very frustrated as he's like constantly clicking buttons and just exasperated uh, as he's like, just like with the, kind of like a seething. Um, annoyance just kind of chucks it on the table and says I, I, I'm sorry I, how can I help you hey are you Mr. Pratt uh, yes I am we're you... here on behalf of EJ Corporation and oh. we're here to pick up some berries finally some, yes uh, uh, the Yaro yes. berry shipments that you're supposed to deliver to Akaton yes, yes hello sir uh, it is... where'd you lose that antenna by the way the war. Um, yes, newbie. <laughs> yeah, the the I joined up with the uh, in the Fomorian War uh, when my youth, but when the you know it is take some battle scars here and there, uh, and he kind of looks at uh, Razor, who is uh, has a cybernetic implant uh, in his eye, and just goes, "It seems that I'm not the only one accustomed to a beating." <laughs> Oh, yeah, we all fight our different battles. <laughs> I kind of look at the data pad he chucked. You seem a bit frustrated. Is there uh, something wrong? Uh, he he kind of squints his eyes and kind of looks back at his desk, and it's just, ah, yeah, uh, my data pad seems to be acting up. I can't see, seem to get the damn thing to work. It was working fine Ooh. last night when I was doing some inventory on the cargo, but... Uh, now I just can't seem to get in the fucking thing. Well, maybe I could take I a little, take, take a gander at it. Right I could really? take you a gander on at one of those um, illegal sites. Have you tried turning it all off? No, I've off tried many off. different things. Um, <laughs> he he goes to grab the data pad and walks on over to Razor. And before he hands you the the data pad, he goes to extend his hand. My name's Runo Pratt, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice to meet you, sir. You I scooch over beside Razor because I'm also curious about this data <laughs> pack. Uh, <laughs> insufficiencies. Yeah, well, what, uh, what's going on with this thing? Yeah, so he, he hands it over to you. I, I, okay, I guess no names. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I already introduced myself, didn't I? Uh, I can't remember. I, I don't remember you introducing him to Runo, no. Oh. 
I mean, they can introduce themselves. I'm below. I like, like, I like wave my hand up, like, like a very just quick hello. I'm below C. And then I look back at the data pad that's in Razor's hand. Well, it's nice to meet you. And you guys oh. both look at the data pad. And the one thing you've noticed is that there appears to be a security protocol. It seems to have locked them out for trying to sign in too many times. Hmm. 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 You know how to fix this, Razor? Very well, common it. problem. Yeah, I do have bypass. <laughs> um, and if you what wanted to try to like, engineering check, it's supposed to take my thumbprint and my password, but it doesn't seem to want to take either. Mm -hmm. mm. So would this be a computers or an engineering check? Yeah, yeah, to it's fix? a. It depends on what you're trying to do. Right now, you can't really access uh, it as a. I mean, I as have bypass would. as a as a that feature for my class. That provides like, you with some bonuses to computers and engineering yes. checks, and you can, in fact, use. I would a computer. assume this is more of a computer than an. You could get a part if you wanted check. to as well. Yeah, because uh, it seems but, like it's working. It's just like he signed out of his account and he can't get back in. Uh, it would so be a computer's a, uh, check. Custom to... rig that I can use to hack stuff. Yeah, yeah. He, I'm you assuming can absolutely that means that. I plug it in to my custom rig and I could hack it and get access yep. to it that way. So that would be a computer's check. All right. Anyways, where are them berries? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're, we're ma this is yeah. customer relations here, all right? We're fixing nah. it up. No, nah, no, nah, he, he can talk. He, nice. he can talk about oh, that. Boy. We, oh, no. Two? A two, that's always great. Well, uh, trying to break the security on the, the it's like plus eight. No, oh, uh, what's his bonus for? I thought he was saying he had a bonus. Has a plus he has one. a bonus. It should already oh. be added. No, I it should already be on that computer. Don't think it yeah, actually. Yeah, sorry, because my computer's was plus eight, so I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, it's, I, it's already yeah. added as an insight bonus. But yeah, yeah his it's intelligence, I guess, is lower than mine is. I mean, I have um, a plus eight mod. I don't think it added plus nine to it. It did. It did. Oh, yeah, you rolled okay. a two, and it added a plus. Eight. Yeah, you your plus eight is 11. with. Yeah, if you hover over your modifier, uh, it tells you that it does in fact add the plus one bonus to okay. your from your bypass. So it is already there. Hey um, Jack. Yeah. What's up? Um. Can I roll? Like, is it like a? Because I want to see if he's like being truthful. Truth. I mean, it's you motive. can. Um, Is that sense you do motive, believe, or would that be? Perception? It, it would be. It would be sense motive, sense. but ultimately, yeah. like nothing he has conveyed has made uh, given you any reason to. Um, I don't know, mistrust. man. He's trying to get. No, no. I, I, I'm pad. saying. I'm saying that like you don't need to make a roll. He has not tried to like deceive you in any way mm -hmm. thus far. Okay. Um. He's uh, trying to get into the data pad. Uh, you seem to be locked out by its security procedures, uh, and you didn't quite roll high enough. Could, could, so, I, could, it, could, could, I, I, could I give it a try, uh, Razor? Do you have a hacking kit? Uh, that depends on whether um, Mr. Pratt here wants you to. I tried taking a look at it. Uh, my, this computer's I, I a computer. I'm not Maybe. a hacker per se, but I'm also part computer, so I figured you I could, could kind of. Oh. Yeah. If if you is wanted to, you a could intelligence open it up base well. check. Yes. It, uh, it is a computer skill check. So if you don't, have, do you have any ranks in computer? I have polymath polymath graft. I uh, can... No, do you have any ranks in computers? I do not. Uh, then you unfortunately Think. do not have the proper because like uh, Starfinder is one of those systems that requires a. Uh, you to be trained in some rank. of the skills. Yeah, computers is one of those skills. If you don't have any ranks in the computer skills, you just can't. No, but it. polymath graft says uh, I can help another thorough. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can help. Yeah, absolutely. You can use your uh, your ability. I just to don't know help what it, like. How, how does that? What is what is the help? Like it doesn't it doesn't say like uh, how, how I help. Does the it other say person. aid or? It Where says, it? uh, once per day, you can automatically succeed at an attempt to aid an another on an intelligence-based skill check. So is that more like a Yeah, yeah, help? so, yeah, so usually when you're trying to aid somebody else in another task, uh, you would have to roll a, a, a skill check of the, the same skill check and roll a oh, 15 okay. to help. 
However, this mod allows you, this, this augmentation you have, allows you to just succeed that automatically, granting a plus two bonus to the next person who's trying to do it. However, uh, only, I believe, only Razer has a hacking kit as his custom rig. Right. So if you right. wanted to try to get into it, you would have to actually just br use your engineering kit to open it up and try to get through it that way. Hmm. He seems, uh, uh, Runo Pratt seems to be okay with the idea, as long as he can actually get into it. I do it have now. an engineering check, uh, kit. Maybe I'll just go through the engineering route. I've yeah. got a spare battery. Maybe I can kind of, like, <laughs> soft reboot this, this data pad or something to get to the point yeah. before he locked himself out. That would essentially be what you were, you would be doing. Okay, here, hand it over, Razor. So, Let me try. So, about that aid I... thing. So, can I attempt to aid him with the engineering? Uh, yeah, you could roll engineering as well. Uh, the DC would be 15, well, and I'll if you succeed, you add a plus if two Sept wants bonus, to do it, he can do it, because he's over there doing that, and I'll just let him do it. But I, I will do it if Sept is not going to do it. <clears throat> I'm just going to roll my engineering check now. Well, because you, you might get a plus two if... I don't know. Do you want to roll it, Sept, or me? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, well, I know, but if I, if I succeed... Okay. If I succeed, then you get a plus two. You succeed? Yeah. yeah. So you get a plus two to yours. Okay, I get a plus two to engineering? Yeah, to the engineering cool. check to try to bypass the so security. The youngster wants to give it a shot here, Mr. Oh, yeah, I put in the salad. salad. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Plus, oh, two. plus two? 16. 16. 16? Does that work? Yeah. Uh, you open it up using your engineering kit and try to tinker around with some of the stuff. Trying to basically, not factory reset it, because I would reset everything, but uh, just try to bypass the security on it. Uh, unfortunately, you're not quite able to locate... Goodness gracious, what is this? Wow, thing? this is a pretty, this is a pretty hard-coded uh, data pad. I can't even get through it. I wonder, uh, would, well, would the 21 have done it? My 21? <laughs> yes. It would. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, I I, I kind of organize everything and kind of put it back together. A new, uh, a new battery. I'm all, I'm all I'm all out of ideas. Well, sounds like you're just gonna have to get a new one. All right. Anyways, where are those batteries? <laughs> God damn! We're, we're just, on a uh, we're on a tight company schedule. Here. Yeah, we tried. We tried. We're not even supposed to help. We're just supposed <laughs> to take berries right now. Um, and he's just well, I. I, can I try I putting in password? Will that work? <laughs> <laughs> do you have not technically okay. roll? You don't have a computer. You don't have a hacking kit, do you? Do you? I don't have a hacking kit. Yeah. I have computer skill, but I don't have. Yeah, you, need a uh, kit. you would need a hacking kit to try to access this. You usually, if you like, don't have access to the user interface, which is what this lockout is preventing you from having. You would have to get. Mm. Um, you would have to get a hacking kit to try to bypass a lot what of the about, uh, my stuff. my data pad can i connect that to the interweb and uh, have him reset his pass <laughs> no unfortunately Maybe you can send you him could, an email and he can if you uh, give him a temporary if guys, pass <laughs> if you guys really want you can go into town and buy a hacking kit to try it yourself it, uh, unfortunately oh, like uh, oh, razors <laughs> yeah razors own hack uh custom rig is not able to be just passed around to people unfortunately um, otherwise, you could have tried that if somebody had a hacking kit of yep. their own. Um, he's just kind of like, well, thanks for helping anyway. I'm, I'll just have to get a new one. Is he just seems like upset? That. Trying to sign maybe, over the maybe maybe write down your information on like a little notepad next time. Just just a little. <laughs> Unfortunately, pointing. I can't sign legal documents that way, and not send them at the right speed. I was trying to Does that sign the company our over. Order? No, I can, I can figure that out later. It's mainly just, um, I'm retiring, you see. I'm trying to get the company sent over to my daughter. Oh, I can appreciate that. Yeah, mm. This this cargo shipment's supposed to set me up for my entire retirement, so. I hope you guys do well. Speaking of which, and he just, like, kind of just t chucks the data pad somewhere and brings <laughs> out the shipment you're looking for is in the back. Uh, and he starts leaning over the back, and he, you see boxes and boxes, all of which that probably weigh about 50 pounds in their own right, uh, all equaling about 50 tons of cargo. Jesus. Uh, and, Whoa, what the... Yeah, you guys tr you guys send a lot. Yeah, you guys you guys are hired to send a lot of stuff from one place to another. It's not just a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
now, 50 tons? 50 tons of yarrow berries. And he says, uh, <gasps> this is all of it. Now, the contract was that you sent it... Yeah, that you sent it over to Call Imports at a uh, hive market over on Akaton. Uh, when you head your, there... Uh, your mic's cutting out a lot, by the way. Yeah, your mic is cutting out so much. Is it? I, You're like I, hearing every other word. All right, give no. me a second. I, I don't know. Did that <laughs> fix it? <laughs> I think it's better. I was just calculating. I was just calculating. That's like 2,050 pound boxes we're going to bring. So what you're yeah. saying is it's going to take a minute. It's, it's going to take, take quite this, a minute. It's going to take some time, yeah. Um, and he says, uh, so the contract was that you guys were to deliver this to Kyle Imports and Hive Market on Acton. Uh When you head there, please uh, give my regards to Siski. Uh, me and her go way back. Uh, I'm sure you'll Siski. she'll give you the fairest deal you can you can find. How do you spell Siski? Siski? I have the name. That's why I asked Kate. What? One <laughs> second. I just saw it. I mean, I'm just pronouncing it or spelling it as best I can. As long as it's phonetically sp phonetically spelled, you know? There you go. Sis. Um, I went ahead and posted it in chat. Ah, uh, cool. Now I'll leave you all to it. You can bring your your cargo rig down to the back here and start loading it up. Yes, and, uh, get in the back there and start loading it up. <laughs> we got a cargo rig? Yeah, you got a yeah, you have a whole ship. truck. Is that what that well, you guys, car was? You guys would have brought it yeah, with you. Our, that was your yeah, that was your car. Yeah. So that something that you guys would know about your cargo rig, and what I, I kind of miss uh and I was kind of a little bit misinformed when I was talking about it before. It doesn't run on hover technology itself, it's a six wheeler. But okay, it does okay. have <laughs> analog yeah, it does, classic. Yeah, well not necessarily. It's still very much electronic. Uh but it does have this uh pull out trunk, this uh this kind of like hover uh, trailer that you can pull out uh, that extends about 80 feet uh, that does carry 50 tons of cargo. Oh, wow. Oh, exactly what we okay. need. Crazy. Oh, on top cool. of that, on top of that, your com the company has also uh, provided you all with um, two uh, hover trailers, which are like, uh, they should be in your ship's inventory, I believe. Uh, two hover carts. Uh, they're essentially like these little uh, suitcase sized things that have come with a little key fob. When you activate them, they turn into this three uh, foot diameter disc that kind of acts like just like a little trolley that you can start bringing cargo to. And with that, with the two of those and some labor uh, sp split amongst each other, you guys can probably get all this stuff loaded onto the hover trailer in about um, eight hours. Dang. That's, That's a, a hard day. That's a lot of work. That How much without Richard helping? Uh, it's essentially <laughs> only the people with hover carts can really uh, do a whole lot. Otherwise, it would be like 16 hours amongst all of you. Um, if you wanted right. to, you guys could take... Uh, I don't think Richard can really help in this scenario, and, but... And can't you use your big brain to like lift it up with your mind powers or something? Um, Just moving the timer a little bit. How much time no. it would have been? No? Oh, that's a shame. All right, boys. <laughs> Anyways, I guess while they're work. <laughs> while they start working, I'm gonna start. Uh, I don't know, talking to this guy about his retirement. <clears throat> what are his plans? <laughs> what are your plans well, for retirement? Where are you headed? Where are you going? Maybe ask him. Go oh, see the world? Uh, my plan is pretty much to just uh, you know relax for the rest of it. You know, I'm, I've been in war zones and I've been running this company for the past thirty years. So, uh, just spend some time with my family, my, uh, my daughter and my grandchildren, you know. Wars of huh? Have you ever heard of a battle royale? Uh, <laughs> I don't believe I have. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, uh, all right. <clears throat> Old. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. You say something? No, sorry, my read voice, it acts up sometime. Anyways, back to the telepathy. Uh, as I was saying, what is that? <laughs> Can you please don't don't use that at all, ever? <laughs> my brain turns to mush. Right, and... Well, I mean, I'm a little bit anxious. Uh, I usually only do business on Castro Velas. It's one of the first, uh, first off-world deliveries that... Uh, Pat's produce is done since its inception four generations ago. 
Wow. Is everything behind on the times, aren't we? A little bit, a little bit, but uh, hopefully with the, this deal has been years in the making, so I'm I'm hoping it goes through. We'll set up the, the company for the, hopefully, the remainder man, these, of its lifetime. Man, this Siski really wants berries? Yarrow Berries. I'm sure anybody on Nakatan would want Yarrow Berries. The damn place is a desert planet. Do you, are you sure? Are you bucks. sure they'll be able to pay for it? I've heard Akaton's not really the most prosperous of planets. Depends on how far you go outside city walls. Um, it it's its economy has definitely fallen, absolutely. But hive market still is the a market. Okay. Most commerce goes through there, so that's probably the best place to very really fair. find your find your uh, find your buyer and whatnot. Uh, oh. I guess what I'd like to ask is anybody doing anything outside of loading up cargo onto the the cargo rig? Yeah, just about <laughs> loading the cargo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm 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 not that strong, so I'm not really like doing it too quickly. But yeah, maybe I'll push the hover card. Actually, that that would probably help. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm definitely not helping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get some working in the heat so like i don't know i don't know maybe i'll just go over to the if the data pad like if the i'll keep an eye on it like see if there's a timer that like resets on it and then lets it, me try like another time but if it's, it's looking locked, like it's it's probably gonna yeah. be tomorrow by the time it unlocks yeah all right then i'll just pull out my data pad and start playing some games oh my <laughs> what the fuck? that's 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 the ship captain for you <laughs> Now, that's what happens Locking when corporate has control over already, hiring procedures. You already asked him about his relationship with Siski. Nobody's asked that yet. Oh, I think uh, some sure. I'll ask him while, so I, while I'm playing a game. Yeah, like half that, right? so while while hey, I'm Captain. half ass playing this. Uh, okay, how do you know Siski? Just through the corporation? Not through the corporation, no. We go way back. There's a. Uh, well, Pratt's Produce hasn't really done a whole lot of off, -wear, uh, off, off world trucking. Um, I mean, the Kaa Imports is an import station. They've they've uh, outsourced some stuff to us. Sending people on their way over here. So there's not a whole lot so, of produce, so, but there's something every once in a while that's usually good that comes out of Akaton that we can sell. So who? So how do you know Siski though? Well, we've had to meet Kay, obviously. But but how did you? But we do go like like way back. Like how long yeah. we talking? <laughs> Oh, well, about 20 years ago, I suppose. Was she in the war? Ago. No, that would have been more like 40 years ago. Were you in the war ago. 20 years ago? Oh, 40 years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The war ended 30 years ago. How the fuck old are you? I'm old. <laughs> Too old. I'm like, dude, I'm in my 60s here, man. I'm trying to retire. Oh, that's 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 baby shit. I'm 100 <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Castrovillians, uh, not Castrovillians, I'm sorry. Contemplatives, you live quite a long time. Yeah, we live to like 400 years old. <laughs> is this out yeah. loud or is this all still in telepathy? In telepathy. Pretty much, yeah. I don't know. Here, Cat let me let me just try something real quick. You can cut this out, I guess. Is this one better? Like, is this one I'm understandable? I, I can actually understand I can understand it. You. It's just annoying. Especially okay, if my I ears mean, as fucked up as they are right now, it's very hard to tell. <laughs> if this one you got anything like, more uh, mysterious? I don't know. I can. I. I don't know. I'll have to see. Now is probably not the time for it. Not though. the time. Well, I thought that the other one was fine. Nobody was telling. Me. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Anyways, right? We'll just assume telepathy. Hey, uh. Okay. Did I get a victory royale? Can I see? <laughs> Can you roll? Can I, give me a vid game roll. I, what is that? What do I roll? Well, uh, give me a dexterity. Give me a dexterity roll. Just so okay. how well your thumbs move the sticks. I'm not, I'm not good at that. But <laughs> oh wow, you won, dude! Well, you won. Pretty good, apparently. <laughs> Number yeah. one victory royale. You thought yeah. you you thought you would have some problems there when that guy started building a tower at Mach 10, but uh, you started building a, mo a tower at Mach 11, and that just fucking blew him out of the water. You got the victory oh, royale, yeah. the chicken, and the chicken in the bag so that's what you're doing the next eight hours and it does like the <laughs> sun is starting to set as you guys do finally manage to load we all the cargo like onto the break sometime or we're doing this yeah straight eight there's hours, there like. yeah, you're, you're, you're taking shifts yeah you guys are taking shifts pretty much to load stuff up give us a uh, break but, 
You do eventually get everything. Uh, <laughs> you do eventually load everything onto the cargo rig. Can I? Uh, uh, oh, I, I guess also while they're doing it, can I? Can I? How the, it's? What time did we get here? And how much longer is the business open for? Like, like is the business going to close while we're loading this? It won't close on you it, at all. It, it, but it would be. Uh, you guys got here at pro like on planet, probably somewhere around like seven or eight in the morning. Uh, as far as galactic time is, not necessarily the planet's time. Um, but it, it would be now like about 5.30 as you guys start finishing up after exploring, like getting your way to Pratt's Produce and start loading everything on to the, the cargo rig. Okay, I just, if if she, if the girl, if the daughter is not busy, I will talk to her, I guess. All right. Uh, what are As you I to wander talk about? around, just playing some Fortnite, <laughs> <laughs> and she she kind of like gets your attention. Is like, are you not helping your uh, your friends load up the truck? Or no, you don't understand. I'm management. Um, um yeah, no, I understand. I understand. He yeah. just, just gives you that like <laughs> that like eye roll. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what would uh, what are your plans for the business after you take over? I'll let, suppose I'll continue as normal. There's a lot of groundwork that was laid out by my father, so I would uh, probably Have you continue met this, that uh, with this Siski person. No, I don't think we've met personally. Uh, being off planet, you don't have a whole lot of reason to leave home when you got a business to run. Um, my name's, uh, I absolutely had the name here for just a moment. <laughs> my name's Nita Pratt, by the way. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Anita Pratt? Or Nita, you need a Nita Pratt? Pratt? Nita Pratt, you know? Uh, N E E D A. Okay. We have swimsuit picks. No. <laughs> All right. She's not a milf. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> she's a mother, but she's not a milf. Gotcha. Wait, how how old about does she look? She for... looks probably more <clears throat> like her her later uh like like early forties somewhere around there. Early forties early 40s oh so she was alive during the war <laughs> oh yeah i didn't fight in it myself we see inside Obviously. any of these packages yeah you can open up some crates as you're loading them up and yeah it's true the form they are loaded up with uh yarrow berries uh these kind of right. like uh, fairly large sized berries almost like almost plum sized uh like okay. red and very juicy looking all right yeah. No, they are not cyanide pills or like drugs. You're escorted. <laughs> they are so absolutely how did you guys yarrow get the, berries. Uh, get the berries. Well, they're seasonal. They grow by the yarrow river here in Castorvel, so, just so just you outside go out city and limits. Fix them? Well, somebody does. Uh, we just sell them. We have locally sourced farmers. You know, uh, we like to pride so you, ourselves so you buy on from the farmers, and then you ship it out. Well, yeah, I suppose that is how it is. My father was the one that mainly set it all set it all up. I've been I've been trying to wrap my brain around everything, but I think I got it down. So you guys are a middleman. Well, I mean, we sell it here, absolutely, but of course, we need companies like Edge Corp to ship these things off planet. We don't have our own ships, you understand? Apparently, Edge Corp would be the middleman. Yeah, yeah Edge Corp is middle middleman. middleman. We well, I mean, like middle middlemen. I mean, from this deal, supposedly uh, Edge Corp gets half, and then my father gets the other half. Jesus Christ! Off and you, you're like the type—the type of money we're talking about here is not like it's nothing that we can properly quantify in credits. And we get, um, and we, and we as a crew get zero point zero zero two percent. We get I mean, two hundred was... credits split between the five of us. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines, yeah. And that's and that's if we deliver it early. That's if you actually work for it. <laughs> exactly. Um, and she says, well, I would sure hope you guys actually go through with delivering them. I mean, if you're... They they should spoil in about seven days, so... I, I don't know how they get it on shelf so fast in Akaton, but I'm yeah, sure it should be fine. Yeah, what could possibly happen in seven days, right? Mm. Like, Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it should be very uneventful. I just mean, berries, man. What, what could, what's anyway, the worst uh, that could happen in I'm space? I'm sure you, you know? know Edge Corp is not responsible for any loss or damages goods um, in the event of any emergency okay. or, uh, you know, untimely demise of said cargo. Uh, you will not be compensated, but that's just, you know, company I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry She's to just, see ya. Oh, hey, another She's victory just... royale. 
She's just dumbfounded as you like float it's away. Float, float away. <laughs> Looking at your data pad. <laughs> Farting in the wind. So you guys have finished loading up and uh, you guys are pretty much ready on heading back over Thank to God. your ship, you know? Yeah, so oh, you were man. exhausted after all that. Oh, Ooh, my long day at work, guys. Let's get I back still got, I still got I don't fleshy know. bits. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be drinking one of my intoxicants when we get back on the show. <laughs> well, guys, I'm beat. Let's get back. I'm gonna beat <laughs> you if you talk like that next time. I say <laughs> under my breath. Bright and early, sunshine. That's when I'm getting you up. To to be fair, Richard could not help that. Like I, he can't. He cannot actually use a two handed. Yeah. Weapon. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, the no, all, all the race of jokes. contemplatives are very vestigial in their main bodies. It's their brain that they're the this made, true made, muscle. Evolved to be purely management. <laughs> Pure intellectuals. Reddit. Literally bred to be fucking yeah. big brain, which also this one's been managed a little too too much. <laughs> uh, you're you're definitely questioning uh, Edge Corp's ability to hire new chip captains. <laughs> Fuck you, mean. No, I was hired based on my combat expertise. I, I, not, I noticed. <laughs> I noticed. The winner of the four, Which uh, combat capabilities? I noticed. Richard the winner of the before future. night competition. They hired me based on that. <laughs> Which yeah. is, uh, I noticed for those Richard that don't Blevins know. Is wearing a new shirt. What logo is that again? Oh, this is. That's the. Um, an icon from one of my least favorite Twitch streamers. Twitch. Favorite Twitch streamers. <laughs> the Dark <What>? Jack 42. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking uh, hate that. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Yeah. You All should right. be able to Jack. <laughs> Damn, so he before said that you Jack turned on PvP. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Friendly fire turned off. That's crazy. Damn, um that's... or turned on, yeah. Um, so after you guys load up and are about ready to head on out, uh, Runo Pratt kind of hails you down. It's just like, now you get that where it needs to go. All right. All right. I don't want to hear we'll about try. any type of we'll try, sir. loss of cargo. We'll do our most mediocre as we can. I don't I'm know. Sorry. Why I messed that up. <laughs> we'll, we'll try our best and our best is bare minimum because we're only paid that much. Walks I, I I only get paid as soon as the delivery has been made, so I sure hope you don't lose oh, it. We, and well, we hardly know. get paid at all. Well, you know, we're not exactly to motivated to do this, but we'll, uh, we'll... At least you have some work, you little shit. <laughs> hey, I did a lot of hard work there. I'm gonna just kind of cut past them up to, uh, up to, uh, uh, to Pratt and just kind of, uh, nod. Uh, don't nods back. Ig ignore them, sir. I greatly apologize for any inconveniences. We'll we'll make sure it gets there in one piece. I have my word. Isn't well, it in a bunch of that's crates? That's nice to know. <laughs> and aren't those crates filled with even smaller pieces? pieces? They're new, please. I uh, I understand new hires. I'm sure it'll get there just fine. I hope. The berries well, or the anyway. team. I prefer the berries, to be honest. We're in agreement, then. <laughs> he kind of laughs at that. It's like, and he goes, uh, he goes to shake your hand. It was nice meeting you all. You all seem like nice folk. I'll shake it back, just firmly. All right. Likewise. You guys, okay, unless you guys have any other, Fortnite. unless you guys have any other questions, like now that like the whole back cabin is like completely extended one of you guys could technically just like wedge yourself between some boxes and use that as your seat um if one of you wanted to how do, uh jack how do i degrade capacity on stuff what do you what do you mean like because I, I i gamed for eight hours so that's eight charges on my don't worry about to, that too uh, much you can like recharge it on your <laughs> ship don't worry about that too okay. much yeah Oh, okay. um, well, I mean, but, it, I didn't know if there was how, like if there would be enough time to recharge on the ship. That's why I bought yeah, extra batteries. You, so, you could uh, you can click to... on the uh, you can edit it and go to details, and that's where the charges are. <clears throat> you kind of have to do I, it there. I, I, I wish it was a little bit easier. I think we've updated okay. batteries in the future enough that it's not Nintendo Switch levels of bad. Yeah, <laughs> uh, data pads still use a charge six out of hour. seven date hit points. What I mean, uh, 20, I think 20 hours points. of like pure gaming, it, 
Just yeah, trading it's probably not. For a battery. But you, you can plug it in the ship and like recharge one charge per minute. It's pretty much what goes on there. Damn, um, charge, charge rates are awesome. Whoa. Yeah, well, it's a charge per minute, so you can't do it in the go. middle of combat. Um, yeah, so you guys, if you have no other questions, you guys can head on out. Who's in the cabin and who's in the back? I'm in the back. I'm in the back keeping watch over the 50 tons of yarrow berries <laughs> that we, we suddenly have to carry now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, and, I, and I kind of... And I kind of speak out to like Razor Blake, please drive carefully. This is a lot of fruit. Praying we strap it down properly. Yeah, there's no walls, Before unfortunately, but it, as long as you strap <laughs> it down, that like it won't move too much on oh, the uh, hover trailer. And yeah. ratchet strap them bitches down. Yeah, pretty much. Can I double check to make sure everything's strapped? Uh, yeah, I you can if you want. Those, those it's like a, work. Yeah, you can do that. You can float and check up all the straps. <laughs> it, actually, it would be well a perception done? check. Yeah, if you wanted okay, to. Well, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't even be a check. You can easily observe that everything's strapped down. It would it, it would take outside effort to undo it uh, by okay. another person. Yeah. Why so, so specific it, about that outside influence part? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, so That's you guys are. Berries. Yeah, who knows, man? Uh, hungry. <laughs> I mean, Castrovel is a pretty nice planet. I mean, if you were you guys are swarmed here. by starving children. Now, do you fight or let them eat? Well, I'm not paid for them to eat. So, I mean, I get it like a hackathon, but this is Castrovel. Yeah. This is farm, man, boy. It's, it's like yeah, they, with they can the just tele go to a farm and pick it off the like lion. Yeah, with telepathic communication as well. It's like there's not a whole lot of egregious crime that happens on this planet. Everyone's pretty open about stuff. <laughs> Uh, about their crimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> about their crimes. They usually don't commit crimes because they know that most of their race can usually detect thoughts. So. Um, God damn. You guys are kind of driving your cargo rig out. Most people are in the cabin, but Bellose is, uh, I hope I said that right, is currently That's in fine, the trailer yeah. watching over the cargo. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but it's nothing too bad. The hum of the car, uh, the cargo rig kind of fills out some of the silence around, as well as all the other vehicles that are on the main street heading to and fro. Um, as you guys approach a uh, stoplight, uh, there appears to be an elderly Lashanta woman who is currently crossing the uh, crossway. Uh, they are holding like a cart full of these like rusted kind of metal tubes uh, that some of you may recognize is kind of filled with petrol. And he, she falls over and the entire cart just spills out over uh, the crossroad all around her. And she just kind of brushes herself up and gets up and starts br going to a canister, bringing it over to her cart very slowly, and then getting another canister and bringing it to her cart very slowly. And this is something that continues for some time. Some time. Uh, <laughs> most people are honking and as the light has already turned green, and she has not yet moved. Get the fuck out of there! I would like everybody um, to give me a perception check. Oh. Can wow. I float oh, boy. up and check, or just perception check from within the car? Yeah, you can get a perception check from within. If you want to get out of the car and start yelling at her, by all means. Well, I was, I was like, if I, because I can fly, like, can I fly up and see, like, like if I'm looking over the other cars? Uh, oh, wow. You're, you're yeah. pretty much wow. at the front here. Yeah, you're at the front of the crosswalk. Oh, okay. Now what? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Ooh, that's not good. So what is Parisville? No. Jack diddly fuck. <laughs> all right. So, um... All right, awesome. Uh, everybody uh, is currently uh, everybody in the cabins looking out, and notice something very strange about this woman, uh, who constantly is just very slowly shuffling over, is that her mouth keeps opening up very almost mechanically and keeps saying like, "Hello, nice day we're having." Did you check the weather? Sports team is doing well. And as you kind of like look past her hood that she has had on, you kind of notice. Uh, as I, as soon as I can find the picture, uh, that she looks Nightmare a lot like coming. this. And you realize oh. that she is not Lashanta, she is a robot. Uh, oh, boy. Like a robot, the back, robot or an android? Full-on robot, not even android, not okay. properly anyway. Um, the, uh, in the back of the trailer, you can't quite see this, Abelose, but you do see all the way in the back of the trailer, uh, three goblins on junk cycles who uh, drive up very sneakily behind the trailer 
and without noticing that you've seen them, start unhooking the crates and start loading them onto their junk cycles, and this is what they look like. Oh, oh hey, that little ugly. cousin Cletus. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, you, we don't see this? You see this. Belose sees this. Hey, at, at what the heck? What are you guys doing? Uh, and I, I kind of like, I kind of like slam the top of like the, the, the car, like where it's like above, like the roof of the car or the truck. Be like, yeah. guys, guys, they're trying to steal our fruit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, absolutely, we're gonna go bring ourselves into uh, initiative. Whipping As, out that gun right away. Yeah. One, of, I'm, I'm about to load up. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I would like to ask everybody's initial reactions to all this happening. I said, I'm, I'm whipping out my shooter. God yeah. damn, God <clears> shit. Throat> I'm throat> tired, I'm frustrated, I just want to drink my beer and rest. Sorry, adding people down. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'd assume Ooh, that most I like of you guys map. would have gotten out. Yeah, this is one of the maps I was provided. Um... So currently, Damn, that was let me go ahead and long just add truck. everybody to the initiative. Yeah, it's long a very long. Truck. I'm surprised that was collapsible within our own truck. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are these <laughs> random ass? All right. Uh, I need everybody to move over to the uh, encounter tab and roll initiative. Yeah. How do I do that again? Uh, it's the there little fist. There, there? Yeah, there's a little die next to your oh, name on. Yeah, yeah, you found it. Come on! Hey, hey bada bada swing! All I gotta do is hold action on Belosi. <laughs> <laughs> what we established last last session. But we're not fighting each other anymore, though. No, that's so fun, it's but just if I like hold my action till you go, then I win. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, Kinda as uh, Belisse, uh looks behind and starts yelling at them, one of the goblins brandishes a sick, uh, br essentially pulls out a Glock and is just like, "Turn around! You're not supposed to see this." And I don't we're care. Starting... We're getting... Like, get away! You're not getting paid to move this. <laughs> like, you know how much I fucking worked all day to put all this stuff here, and now you're just gonna take it all away? Hell no, I pull out my gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is your turn. Well, do you wanna go ahead and you can take your action? Uh, let's see. So, how how tall is this, or is it just like it's kind one of floating layer? up the it's it's, okay. it's kind of like one uh, layer, you can essentially kind of like jump down off of it fairly easy okay, if so, to do that. Fucking goblins! Yeah, so uh, let's see, that's five feet. Oh, excellent. This is much better now. Wait, let's see. Oh, shit, shit. I used to be only able to go yeah, here, but now I can go here. Remember, you are so basing this from your token, is where the starting point would be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You, you kind of started a bit wrong in there. 15 and then add five feet of movement on there you kind of like went doubled back on yourself there like like that yeah remember you only have 30 feet of movement uh for yeah, one so... movement action yeah okay so i can move there right yeah uh you can move like <laughs> I, right how do i move how do i like move the token to where i want to go uh like... so when you're holding control and you left click to start dragging out like this you can um uh you can like press space uh to, oh, okay and, okay yeah to, okay. to have it follow that trail. Okay. Let's put that back. Wait. Testing things. Uh, that is 40 feet of movement right there, so you need to move back a couple spaces. Oh, okay. Sorry. Like, yeah, cool. see, it shows the total in the brackets. Like there? Yeah, yeah right there. Um, okay, so how far is this? 40 feet? 40 feet? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, okay. 30... F I think 45 feet. Right? Yeah. 45, 45, okay. Oh, Remember, you're man. measuring from your token, not from in front of your token. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if oh. rem if you're if it's outside of your range of your weapon, don't worry. You can still try to shoot them. You just have a negative two penalty from trying to shoot beyond the range. Uh, it I has don't know a what range of forty feet. Needle pistol. Yeah. Uh, then uh, it's forty-five feet. You would essentially have a negative two to that roll to try to hit him with. Alrighty. It. 
So yeah. I'm going to shoot them with my needle. Well, the, the closest one over there. With yeah, my this is the one that's pistol. brandishing his Glock right over here. Okay, uh, well, right okay, he deserves it then. He's threatening me. The other two appear to be just still loading up the, like, still trying to unload crates. And they're just like, keep loading! Keep loading! I got this! Alrighty, I'm rolling a tie. Oh, that that's hit. Yeah, that's pretty. That's minus two. That still hits. Yeah, absolutely. All so right, go ahead and give me a damage roll on this guy. A blam. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, really you, like, not looking. <laughs> he, you just like, he's just like, I got this. Don't worry. And then you shoot him like in like near the throat. Like, not quite on any type of thing super vital, but he is spurting blood. He's just like, that, ah, that. Ah. He's just like starting to hold his gun up on you. Uh, is that your turn? Basically, yeah. Uh, said goblin aims his gun down at you. Uh, I believe he's actually going to go ahead and move uh, to about Damn. right here. Uh, and he just like starts stammering up. He pulls out his gun, and is uh, goes ahead and draws the bitch on you. I believe that is within his range. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hit. That hits. All right, then you are about to take Blam. Four, four points of piercing damage as the bullet from the gun just ricochets, and everybody around uh, the car starts going. Who were originally like just upset that the road was blocked by this old this woman are now like either getting back in their car or starts running down like various different um alleyways and trying to get away from so the that, situation. So that would be my stamina first, right? Yeah, your yep. stamina get hit, gets hit first. Okay. Wait, wait. It's supposed to be two. There we go. Uh razor crud bump. So it is your turn. So, how do I do that fancy movement thing? Uh, hold control, then left click, and stuff like okay. that. So I can move 35 feet. Can I move like this? Yeah, because you have 35 yeah. feet right there. Yeah, you can move like that. That's and fine. That would be 35 there. No, no, yep. the, it's total, total movement of 40, is what it says in brackets. Oh. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, right there. Okay, so I'll move there. And this is... Within my distance, 60 feet on that firearm, long arm. Yep. Isn't so there a bonus to that? I will take a shot at that guy. A bonus? Shoot. Question mark? What? Well, no, I think there's like a bonus to the feet usage. What feet? I mean, I thought it says there's like an extra five feet for every level. Let no, me. it's it's his his base movement speed is thirty five feet. No, no, no! I meant the weapon. Oh, um, no, not for not usually for weapons. Uh, his range is sixty feet. There are range increments for every range increment, which is like every sixty feet past the original. You add a cumulative plus two, or sorry, negative two modifier to the attack roll. But he's within range, so there's no oh. negative. All right. Okay. Ooh. All right. That does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oops. Nice. Ooh. How do you, how do you kill this goblin? I blow his freaking head off. <laughs> Absolutely. So you take your sonic rifle out and just blast in this this uh, condensed force of a sonic wave, hits him in the face, and you just see like blood start spurting out of his ears and he falls over dead. That's what you get, varmints, for picking on our cargo. And the I other like two her. goblins are I'm just kind of like. Pop the rest of y'all too. Ain't that your kind, Razor? They ain't my kin. <laughs> they're if they're stealing from me. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't family. <laughs> uh, I turn around to Razor and I give a thumbs up. Like nice shot. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay, Ashlyn. Some motherfuckers trying to steal your cargo. Is this here difficult terrain? Yeah, or is be. that that would be difficult terrain now? Guys, what about the robot in front of us? So it's actually don't worry about it. I'm sure it's, it's not nothing. in the initiative yet. Oh, okay, it is. Okay. It is in the initiative. It's at the bottom of initiative. Oh yeah, wait, it is. It's not a whole fucking lot I can do here.
We could try moving back there. Like, that's it, though. Not everybody's a hero every turn. Can only be as cool as movement me. To try to get over there. Maybe, maybe give oh, a look at... True. Yeah, so you can move, like, 50 feet and try to get there. And you do have a gun. You do have a pistol if you wanted to use that. Yeah, but I don't think I can... I think specifically your slip shot pistol is meant for like being able to shoot past its range because you have instead of negative two cumulative penalty, you have a negative one instead. It's pretty much how that pistol works. Okay, hold the fuck up. So I could technically shoot this fucker. Well, that one's kind of beyond cover. Uh, if you're trying to shoot from there, he has the <laughs> trucks in the way. Yeah. I'm just saying that that's technically what, like, if you had moved in a position that you would have line of sight on one of them, that's what you could do. I mean, not that I can shoot this round anyway, but... Because I used my... both my movements, that's kind of my, my thing. Alright, then it is the Space Goblin's turn, and this one, just like, Keep loading the thing! I got this! And it loads out over here, uh, and is about to take a shot at Bellos. Bellose. Uh, does a 15 hit? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> One point of piercing Ooh. damage as you are grazed by the cheek by a bullet that flies past you. Ooh. We get a high roll, maybe low roll. Uh, Richard Blevins. Um. Imagine the junk bot is a murder machine. Well, let's not get our hopes up. I don't know. Uh, you only have 30 feet of movement, so the double move, it would be up to uh, 60 feet total, even with your fly well, speed. Well, I'm wondering... Well, yeah, but I'm if I take run, I can move that's, four times. That's true. That's what I was trying oh, to I see, like, where is four times going to put me? <laughs> like, right there? <laughs> Unless I, right like... in between their junk cycles. Oh, uh, it's up to four times, right? Yeah, up to four times. Okay, so... Then... I will... Okay, how big are these crates? Uh, they go up about, like, ten feet up in the air. Does that include okay. the, uh... I, I will just take run... And, f well, fly... <laughs> <laughs> All the way over there, and then I think is a swift action. No, yeah, you can't can take a swift prone. action because it's a full action to run. So Even... you couldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To do a full prone. action, you yeah. To well, it's uh, yeah. Falling prone is a swift action. So. Uh. So you would you'd just be moving up there. That's all you can do, if you took a full action. Well, then I won't go there. I'll go. I wish I'd known about that. Yeah, I'll I forgot like, about it too. I'll go like Three. here, I guess. Like going through allies is difficult. Well, you would accelerate the movement. Yeah, I so you could go there. Yeah, We're still learning the system. Would, still need to. I, I guess know. I would go like there. Then go I would have there. cover there, right? Yeah. Then I don't suppose there. you'd let me retroactively Actually. fucking. Uh... No, no, not for that. We'll just, we'll just run with it. Yeah, I know, I'll it's... go there. Uh, uh, wait, let me check. What's, what is it? That would have been what? Oh, they, you could have moved up to a total of 100 feet. How do I... Is it... Oh, yeah, yeah. If it's a full action, yeah, I'll say that you can do that. We're still kind of learning. So, yeah, you can oh. get right, right there. It would be... Literally, that's all I could have done, but... Yeah, so there you go. You can just move yourself there. Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm I was going to... I was going to willfully be like, okay... Remember yeah, we'll... to change directions 45 degrees. Yeah, just move somewhere, please. <laughs> I'm trying to get somewhere in cover because oh, if he's moving well, up just there, being yeah, on just top of the there. like goblins are small creatures. Just being on top of the load, you have cover from them, but they have oh. cover from you as well. I don't need where I'm going. I don't need cover. All right, uh, good move. Sure, I guess whatever. I'll just go up on top. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how do I? Uh, is it left and then just, space. Yeah, then space. Yeah. 
All right, there you go. Okay. You fly on top of the the crates and land gently, like a little dandelion. Space Goblin. <coughs> this one over here takes its full action to take a crate and loads it on this bike over here. Ah, slime okay. rat motherfucker. Wait, how can a goblin carry fifty pounds? It, you, hey, you space can, wizard. Man. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. It's fifty pounds. It's not fifty tons. It's but he loads one crate. Yeah, a goblin. Yeah, he just, loads the whole so trailer know, on that bike. For reference, fifty pounds is like. That's like your entire body weight as a goblin. Pretty much, but that's what they're doing. Then, that's why it's taking then, its full action to do that. So a uh, goblin carries a goblin. Does it make a check for it? And I just no, okay. he just does. That's it. a lot <laughs> of weight, by the way. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm reading the book. If you have a Wait, problem, take it up with Paizo. Does that mean Razor wasn't Where helping was move the man. boxes? Yeah, he was. He was helping. I was. Boxes. I was literally yeah. like deadlifting we, my we weight. Had, every we had we had hover <laughs> Yeah, you had helper cards to help you out with it, but you we only had able... two. So, we Chaos Events. Yeah, but you it still have to, turn. like, put it on the hover. Mm. It, it, it's already happened. Anyways, anyways. It's, happened. It's, yeah, it's, real, it's, it's all good. So, what does Chaos Events want to do? Um, well, those goblins don't really seem like a big issue. Can I, uh, should wait, can I even there? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I can you would have to like, kind of like position yourself oh, like around that. it. Yeah, but you can absolutely, yeah, you definitely have the movement to get up to it. And it's just kind of like, as you walk up to it, it just goes, nice weather we're having. Mm. Uh, let me just, let me just see what I can do here. Time for the mantis blades. So, so just to confirm, he, he went from his bike up, picked up a crate, brought it back over and put it on the bike. That's a full action. So it's on That's what the, the book, bike now? Okay, if you guys want like the rules on it, the book literally says they can use a full action to load a crate on one of their bikes. I'm just saying, like, so it's on the bike now. Like, It's, yes, it's on the bike. Yeah, on the, the bike. Okay. The crate is on the bike. Can you use sense motive? <laughs> See what, sure. Uh... If you want, that would be hey, your you action. You know, it's one robot to another robot, right? You know? Yeah. It's not a. It's not an android though. It's not that type of advanced. You yeah, you android, already telling. Robot, potato potato. Yeah, already telling. It doesn't seem that advanced. But uh, <laughs> it literally is called oh, junkbot decoy in the fucking initiative uh, tracker. <laughs> sense motive. It's kind of hard to tell because a lot that. of its movements are all robotic. So it's it appears to be on a pre-recorded path, essentially. Okay. Uh. That's about it for my turn, then. All right, then the junk bot's turn. It's mantis blades. Mantis blades. It raises up its uh, robotic arm. My bad. And I then was it kidding. crashes it down on pairs of bets. It was a prank. Nice. Does a 22 <laughs> hits. <laughs> it hits? Yep. <laughs> All right. Five plus four. Oh, okay. You take six take points of bludgeoning. Whoa! What the? You take fuck? six points of okay, bludgeoning damage. I'll take six. Yeah. So that'd be uh, kinetic. Yeah, Which it's I kinetic. I can't even change it, can I? It, no, uh, it's just it's six bludgeoning damage that goes on to your uh, stamina. stamina. So no stamina. <laughs> and it just goes. Lovely weather. Do you get to the cloud uh, district very often? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> no, uh, Billus. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, you kind of heard that. You heard like a uh, nice weather we're having, then crash. Crunching of concrete. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna go deal with these goblins first. All right. Wait, let's see. What's so that's twenty. Twenty feet. Twenty five. Alrighty, so I'm gonna move there. Absolutely. And then this should be 25 feet. I'm gonna cast my uh, junk blades. Throw out some junk blades, bro. Yeah, <coughs> junk shards, actually, junk shards. Uh... And of course, all while all of this is happening, while gunshots are going over the place, like there are just people frantically running. Some people are trying to get yeah. their cars running to get out of here and stuff like that. Yo, uh, Seb, so where's your a... complaint about the police AI? Uh, Alrighty, do I just roll save? for the yeah? 
Yeah, just roll for the damage to see if he succeeds. I think he did. That's a 17. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you, he still takes half, half damage. Half damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's roll some. Which, but, uh, <laughs> how do you kill him? <laughs> exactly the amount of health. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. That's half damage, so yeah, he only takes half. My bad. My mistake. Yeah, three. I'm so <laughs> sorry. What a way to blue I, ball. My bad. So you, these junk shards appear out of nowhere and start like flinging into him. So it's like, I got this. I got no. I don't got this. I don't got this. Uh, as he's just like screaming in pain, bleeding blood, the blood of death. Anything else? It bleeds. We can kill it. Uh, no, I can't do anything else. So I moved and I used my spell. Right. I'm just making sure. Like you did have swift action. I don't know if you have any specific swift actions you have. That's no, the only no, reason why I asked. I'm good. Uh. Razor, it's your turn. All right. So you kind of you guys, you got sidelines and everything that's kind of happening right now. Uh huh. Um. Of course, by the way, all these little, uh, all these little, like crates that are on the ground, all these barrels, they're actually like petrol cylinders that have fallen down from the cart earlier. Scattered around that the road. Great. Oops, never mind. I guess I won't move up there. Or I'll move up there and I'll take a shot at him on the corner. All right. Um... No. That is a nine. Unfortunately, it does not hit as the sonic wave uh, blast past him. It almost hits this cr this uh, bike over here, uh, but it does miss still. I'm just going to... Okay. No! Not the fucking Sharp and loud! Out. Sharp and loud! I'm gonna kill you! Alright. Now if I kill you first! Uh, Ashlyn. Yeah. You know what I'm about. Are you about to fucking fuck that guy up? You're gonna fuck well, him up? Well, I'm gonna try. Let's put it that way. I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take out my, uh, my axe that I've charged around with and gonna go for a swing here. Oh, no, no, right. hope for the best, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good, oh, no! Yeah. Good, good news. Um, <laughs> he, he heard my stomping coming, so he yeah, gets he to heard... live this. Oh, my God. So he's currently <laughs> just, like, fastening the crate to his bike, and then he just looks over and says, Whoa! Stop! Fight them! Fight him! He, like, points over at the other goblin, and it's just like, No, fight him! No, fight him! And they just keep going back and forth on for a bit. Uh, that is, uh, the other Space Goblin's turn, who does turn around and is gonna move about right here to kind of give himself some cover, uh, so from I'm swinging Bellos. at his friend and fucking... Yeah, and he's gonna go ahead and take a shot at you. That's uh, a 16. I do not think that hits your kinetic AC. <laughs> Alex? No, 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 Ashlyn, Ashlyn. Oh, He's attacking me? Ashlyn, yeah. Wait, so he rolled the six skin against KAC? Yeah, KAC, kinetic. Uh, yeah, no. So yeah, the bullet just tinks off your armor and you just like look over at him and he's just like, Not even I a didn't do it. Turn, kind of. It was him. He points the gun at his friends. <laughs> Richard Blevins. Look at both of them, okay. the evil eye. <clears throat> Step one. Just fly body. over onto the bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Rainbow by the way, it, it is a move action to embark on a vehicle. So it'd be like your move action to move over to it, then a move action to get on the bike, properly seated onto it. Onto it, even if I just fall onto it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like you can stand, like kind of, kind of not like kind of like hover a little bit above it, uh, but like it's your move action, to, like properly seat yourself into it. Okay, I'm not trying to drive it. Okay. But again, you're I just kind of like to it that I can interact with it. Yes. Okay. I would like to disable it. Uh, either take keys or disable it in some other way <laughs> where it cannot be driven. <laughs> uh, you could always attack it. On top of that, I guess uh, give me an engineering check. Okay, I would rather negative two because you don't. Yeah, negative two because you don't have an engineer's kit in your hands. Uh, so you're, you're just like trying to use your hands to fuck with it. So, do I just just do take the fucking gas cap off. Great. Ten. 
Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you're like looking around. Uh, on top of looking down below and seeing the power core for it, that seems to shimmer uh, in a way that would seem to state that it's completely unstable. Uh, you don't see any real way to disable it other than to blow it the fuck up, essentially. Uh, which you come to the conclusion would be really bad for you. Okay, I mean that's oh, it. But that would essentially it. be like an attack. So you 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 kind of failed to disable it. It's still like running, and the, the goblin's just like, get off, get off it. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is unplug battery to go boom. I am sort of obstructing this the space though. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's just like you'd have to like shove me or something to get it to <laughs> get me off of it, right? Pretty much. Like, I don't know. I don't know how. He, I don't know how he would get me out of this space. I guess it would be like a shove. I don't know if there's a shove sort of thing. Yeah, uh, it would there, be like under, I think it's athletics. I combat maneuvers. Definitely a shove. Oh, there's combat maneuvers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying. I, I don't know where it is, but I, there's de there there is something like there must be something like shove. But he has to yeah. do that to get me uh, right. Right, There's cool. like repositioning. Repositioning. Can always just yeah, grab you and sort of throw you elsewhere. Other so he that, is he is going to go ahead and he's going to draw his his dog cleaver in the other hand and he's gonna go ahead and slash at hey, the, hey, the guy that's on top of his fucking junk site i need to like move this junk site all the way so i can kind of interact with your token a little bit easier <laughs> um so he is gonna go ahead and he's going to take out his dog slicer because that's actually the fucking name of it and he's going to slash yep. at uh good thing i'm not a dog richard the problem is i think he considers you one wow <laughs> no he's six hit up. I don't no. think it is. Yeah, it does not it. Uh, he just slashes that. It's like, get off! Get off it! Uh, Damn, he going uh, As I'm floating away, he's saying, I could dance all day, I could dance all day. <laughs> Peter Savets. There's a, there's a thing in front of you that does not like you, apparently. Slammed me, yeah. It's just like, did you, ca wow. did you catch the game last night? <laughs> apparently, I did. He caught Catch the hands. hands. Yeah, he caught these hands. Caught the it's hands chill. one round ago. Um, okay. I'm just thinking, um... So, would this, would this junk bot count as a creature? Yes. Pretty much. So what you're saying is, I can mind link with. It is a construct. But it does have an intelligence, so yeah, you could tech you can mind link, but mind link doesn't work the way I think you think it does. It you just allows you to transfer know, fast it's, amounts it's, of information. Yeah, it's like transferring yeah. information. I, was, I, I thought I, I was gonna ask if I could like role play it. To, uh, which is what you're trying to do. Yeah. Um. Actually, I guess this won't work. This would be more like a hacking kind of thing. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of currently in combat with you, so to try to disable it with, like, yeah, yeah. engineer's tools or something like that would be kind um, of a pain in the ass. You could always attack it. Use that's my also needle, something needle. Needle. Yeah. Actually, uh, first I'll use uh, reflected armor, because that shit fucking hurts. And that's a standard action, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then that would be your action this turn, is to uh, activate your reflect... Uh, Reflective armor. Don't know why it's asking for a save throw. It just kind of works. Well, I guess that's for like the attack, uh, the save throw when it activates. So you do have yeah. like the shimmering armor that uh, the shimmering force field that surrounds your body. Um, any type of move action. Remember, if you like, without like doing stuff like disengage or move action. or like a fi a guarded step, uh, you would provoke attack of opportunity on it on yourself. You just keep that in mind. Yeah, I, th I think I'll take a guarded step. All right. Uh, then you can move five feet. Yeah, that way, and you just kind of get out of its range. Uh, the junk bot does move up to you and just goes, that game last night was great, wasn't it? I'm so glad that sports team won. And slams you. Or does it? Yeah, with a plus well, nine to try. hit, I wonder if it'll hit. <laughs> uh oh. Now oh, yes. <laughs> uh, not this time. So you like you like duck out of the way. Yeah, you duck out of the way and it slams in the your cargo rig and it just leaves a dent on the uh, uh on the hood. 
You're just like, oh, fuck, Kiwi. Jesus, 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 I hear, I hear the freaking uh, big dent crashing noise of our car, and I immediately turn around. And I'm like, "What the heck's going on?" And you, you definitely see that uh, currently Paris Yvette is uh, in in armed combat with a robot. Yeah. So what's a run movement? Four times my speed. It's four, four times, times your speed. You but have to go in a straight line. Yeah, you have to go in a straight line, but it is also your full action to do so. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, considering that there's two goblins left and one goblin is kind of damaged. I'm going to just run back to help Privoslavitz because he's like alone. Right, so you Real can quick, just like it's... run in a straight line over there. Up to 120 feet. What's up? Um, I was just going to say, when it slammed in the car, was that like when Elon threw the metal ball into the Cybertruck and crashed the window? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, the window's fine. Feet. I run 110 yeah. feet here, and that's awesome. it, I guess. I got All a right. question. These Razor. were oil barrels, right? Yep, they're like they're like petrol canisters. So what you're saying is, if someone shoots in this direction, if somebody it hits one, yeah. Well, no, no, okay, no. Like, Just if somebody hits one, you would have to deliberately try to hit just it. Just fucking to be careful, people. All right. Yeah. So, Razor Crud Bump. What do you want to do? I want to retire a millionaire. <laughs> you have to work for that. I'm for it. Okay, there's no role for that. No, that's over the course of the campaign. <laughs> okay. There are, in fact, many roles for that. All right. Um, I'm going to do my thing here. Okay. Uh, let's see how far can I move here. I can move up to here. Would he still have cover if I move here? Um, he would kind of lose it, would. yeah. Yeah. If you moved like right there, I think like yeah, you would. Uh, he okay. would have so he would have partial cover. So instead of the plus four to his AC, he'd have a plus two because more than half of them is visible to you. Okay, I can take those chances. Um, so that's what minus one, or what is it uh, for partial no, cover? No, just just roll normally. It's a plus to his AC, not a minus to your attack roll. Okay. Uh, the, oh. <laughs> the blast oh. does go too wide, unfortunately, and fires behind him, hitting one of the junk cycles. You realize that the power core in this junk cycle over here begins like flaring up and spark, but then it calms down, and the the goblins just look back at it and just like look back at you. It's like careful, you'll blow us to high hell. That's what I'm reckoning for. <laughs> All right, next. Ashlyn. <laughs> so to clarify something here, just because I'm trying to read and it's it's a bunch of gibberish still to me. Do I add if I roll to hit, I can add Entropic Strike plus the D4 here, or do uh, if you use your move action to use an entropy point to increase the damage of your entropic strike, you would add a D4 on top of your normal entropic strike damage. So do I roll for Entropic Strike, or do I roll with my weapon and add the D4? You can use your weapon as your Entropic Strike, but you would just be using the Entropic Strike. You would just roll the Entropic Strike, essentially. <laughs> you can use so your that... weapon as like a focus for it, though, is what I'm saying. But you would still just roll the Entropic Strike. You would use its damage, not your weapon's damage. <sighs> I'd say smash smash well the problem is fucking entropic strike basically does like zero damage it does a d3 of damage plus your constitution modifier uh plus your uh a d4 if you have that too what are you talking about it does no damage so what am i looking at maximum three seven you like max eight damage, like minimum eight damage. I think. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Four no, plus one, two, six damage minimum. It depends on how many entropy points you're using in it because you're. Uh, I don't know. If you've been... Yeah, then just one then. 
It's just 1d4. Yeah, so 1d4 plus 1d3 plus 4. Alright. So roll saying. the hit. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna for safety reasons just go with my weapon. Alright. That hits. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's dead. Tell me how you kill it. Um I guess I'm just gonna kind of bring the axe overhead and wait for him to kind of turn around as I'm going to assume my shadow kind of looms over him a bit. Yeah, he just, he and turns then, around and is just like, what? Wait, I'm busy. Oh, shit. I'm gonna cleave that son of a bitch in half. <laughs> exactly what happens. So his entire body gets cleaved and both halves fall different directions. And the blood spurts not only on you, but also on Richard. And I can still move. No, you use your movement action to... Oh, no, no, you didn't. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can still move. Yeah, that was just my weapon by itself. I'm going to turn slowly it. and just kind of stand here looming over. Uh, yep, this, this and he's, he's just shitting himself. Yeah, uh, he does. He's going to run. He's just like... Fuck it, it's not worth it! And starts running towards one of these bikes. However, you do have the opportunity to attack him as a reaction. Uh, no. No? You're just gonna let him run? Uh, Alright. Well, no. It Apparently, this axe is considered unwieldy, and apparently I can't make attacks of opportunity with it. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> apparently, this know. thing is so fucking big strong that it's like, it's kind of hard to just suddenly start swinging. I kind of oh, have to yeah, rip up unwieldy. To it. All right, so I mean, the... if you're gonna let me anyway, no, I'll no, no, I no, mean, we're following the rules here. No, we're following the rules here. So he uses move action to get over there and a move action to get onto the bike itself, uh, which is not properly displayed. So I'll just move next to it. Uh, <laughs> and he's just like currently fumbling around the keys. He doesn't have quite the, enough time to finish turn him it off, on. Richard. Decides, finish him off. It to is get Richard's under. turn. Ashy, you let Ashy, you let her get away. <laughs> Alright, I technically go before him. <clears throat> next turn two. <clears throat> I'm gonna float over and do it again. Uh, He's already on the uh, voice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is not even remotely understandable. I don't like that at all. I heard it. That's I his heard fairy it. voice. I heard it. It's very <laughs> special. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I demoralize him. <laughs> All right, it's uh, give me uh, the roll for it. Then. I think he demoralized the whole group with that. <laughs> yeah, he's demoralized. 18. How many rounds? <laughs> uh, one plus his CR plus fifteen. It says in the thing there. Uh, uh fifteen plus <laughs> one and one minus one half times the CR. Yeah, so it'd be fifteen. So just once. Okay. Well, just no, it's round. twice. Well, so that's two actually two rounds. Round. Yeah, two rounds. Yeah. So two uh, rounds he's demoralized. Uh, and then I cleverly faint him by activating my telepathy. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> uh, Hello. Uh, this is your conscience speaking. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gone to art school like your mother said. <laughs> my mother was a whore! <laughs> oh, God. I was just like, no, and he's just like all shaken. Little. He's just like, get out of my head! Oh, that should not be plus zero. Uh, that should be plus eight. Well, well actually, the last then. one should have been plus eight as well. I don't know why he they is both... also flat-footed. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> for everybody. Uh, yeah, sorry. That should that should have been plus eight. I don't know why it didn't do plus eight. So the other one, so he, he actually would be demoralized for another, for like you, four rounds. I don't think other... he's gonna survive, but <laughs> it's uh, it would be demoralized for like one more rounds actually uh, with the DC set. All right, so Pierre Savet. You don't know what the hell's going on there, but it appears that like the goblin's just like pissing his pants on the the junk cycle. Uh, you don't really see that going on. You currently have a situation on your hands. A pretty big fucking situation. Um, got a hard hitting situation. They they do hear my amplified reed voice from over there. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <sighs> um. 
Yeah. So, can I take a what was it called again? A five foot a guarded step. step. A guarded step. You could. And you can take a guarded. Make another movement. Yeah, you can make two movement actions. Uh, you just forego your standard action to do so. So you, you can make a guarded two. step here, and then make another guarded step here to completely avoid uh, getting hit. Um. Because otherwise, if you that. just make a normal movement action. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna do that. All right. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, there's also like disengage from melee. I think. Uh, which is a full action. Uh, Does it just only move me, like, the just out of the withdrawal. Range? With the withdrawal from melee combat as full action, when you withdraw, you can move up to double your speed. The square you start out on is not considered threatened by an, any opponent you can see, and therefore visible enemies don't get blah blah blah. So essentially, unfortunately, only for the first square you're standing on. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if you like moved here, even with that movement, you would still op uh, spark opportunity of attack. I guess I with that movement, you could move up moves. here. Yeah, or get like on top of the car. All right, so you but move outside on top of the, of the car. Yeah, with the with the dis uh, with the withdrawal. So would that? How would that factor into like if the junk bot follows me? I uh, would I'd have, have to start to, climbing the like, car as well. Do a full move j just to like. Well, it would still have its normal tall. movement. It would just start trying to climb up the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I think I'll just go down here. Okay. Uh, then the junk bot is going to start following you, and it's just like, do you get to the cloud district very often? And slams you. God, someone kill this thing. Twenty three. Because I'm guessing that's all I hear. Like I just hear repeats. Yeah, it's on repeat. Shit. This whole hey. fight. But now, it, but now that damage is also reflected back at it, right? Oh, yeah. So you do take eight points of damage, but yes, uh, you can reflect that damage back. I think with a reflex save, it can save for half. Yeah. Um. If they succeed on the roll, they you know, fail. Yeah. So they take the full eight points of damage from that. Cool. Uh, as force damage. Uh, so you're not looking that great, but you do realize that after it slams down on your force field, like it, n another force, the force field breaks and knocks it back, dealing damage, blowing bits off of it. Oh. Uh, and it is Bel Belose's turn. Hello. I'm gonna, let's see. Hopefully not shoot. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use my junk shard. Blam. Let me use a grenade. <laughs> Blam, blow up the entire fucking street, man. Hey, that's gonna blow up our cargo too, man. No, All just right. the truck. We didn't Cast need it. Casting junk shard. It's a save of ten for the junk bot, I guess. So you want to roll that? No, that's no, the right it's, save. it's not uh, the right save. It's not doing it right. Um. Oh, okay. I think you're saving. Uh, I think your save DC is like fourteen or something. It doesn't make it. it. It's okay. it's a roll damage. Give me potato salad. Yeah, Foundry's uh, Starfinder thing is not quite working out supposed to, so hey. it kind of has some problems. Um, yeah, so uh, Bill will say you start weaving magic, and these these shards of junk fly all around and start pinning it like a pin cushion, and you just see like um, uh, some cables get disconnected, uh, some junk gets like lodged into joints. Uh, and some scraps of its cloth uh, that it's wearing it goes flying off, and it just looks over to you and just uh, says, "I heard there's a two for one deal at Pratt's Produce." Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like uh, looking at it confused. I'm like, "Is this what you had to deal with, Provisovit?" <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you have a movement action you wanted to slammed. use? Huh? Did you have a movement I... action you wanted to use? Because you still technically uh, have one. Yeah. I can't convert that movement into anything else. Nah. Just really... a move I don't... You can use a swift I... action, but no. Mm. No, I'm. I'm. Actually, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll move a. Like. Let's see. And then that should be yeah that's that should be wait wait wait, wait. 
Oh boy, this is confusing. Yeah, right it might here. take a bit to get used to. There we go, I move here. Right. Razor Crud Bump. That's me, God. This goblin's trying to get the fuck away. It is flat-footed, though. Oh, lordy, I gotta kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna good. shoot him dead. I'm just gonna boy. shoot Sam right in his dumb head. All right, I'm gonna move over here and take the shot. I'm gonna Give make that mama roll. proud. Bless her six titties. It's also <laughs> flat-footed, so... Uh... There we go. Yeah, it's negative two to its AC. Yeah, that hits... <laughs> Take the Roll damage. I'm, a, I'm taking the shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> How would you look at that? Can Ooh, you that that reminds the sun, me. I he forgot I have combat tracking that I should really be using. <laughs> Things it like does this. take a move action to do it. Yeah. Um, whoa, so whoa. you uh, you shoot out another sonic blast at it, and it holds up its arm, and it you break its arm in the action, but it protects itself from its main body and stuff like that. It's just, nice. Stop it! Stop it! Nope, varmint, you trying to steal our goods? I'm gonna steal your life. <laughs> <laughs> Ashlyn. Proper response. Conflicted hair. But, um... I know you me... are. You're such a good person, Ashy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, fam. So how much do I have? A hundred? Uh, if you move in a straight line, you can run as a full as a full action. But you have to kind of curve there a little bit. Oh, I just have to run straight, but <laughs> it's kind of going up. It's very like difficult <laughs> oh, no, terrain to get up there. The yeah. Truck. <laughs> the truck just disintegrates. Suddenly just... turns into Melgill Rising. I'd say it's a fucking Michael Bay movie. I'm just gonna flip the truck up and start running. Um, all right, well, that kind of decides what I'm doing. We all know what I'm what I'm about, but the question is, am I good at it? Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're really good. All right. <laughs> yeah, do you kill it? What kind of... No, that's too edgy. Whoa. I feel like it yeah, is. I, I, I feel like this one's just a straight decapitation. <laughs> I'm just, I'm feeling just this kind of walk up as it's, I, I'm going to guess, semi-cradling its arm? Yeah, He's pretty the much. the burden of its shoulders. And just take its head off its shoulders. Hell yeah. It's dead. The head f rolls to the floor. Uh, and it is Richard Blaine's <laughs> turn. So you kind of secured uh, the cargo. There is still the junk bot all the way up front, though. Nah, he's fine. So I know you were... Well, it's only for attacks that you can still attack outside of the range, just with a minus two. Uh, it's for, like, ranged attacks, yeah. Your ranged thing so, comments. So if I try to, like, scream at it from over here... Oh yeah, no that. Minus two. Uh, no, 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 not, that's not a ranged attack. That's well, an, some that's, would consider it an attack on something. If you can, but... he, if the robot can hear you, you can demoralize it. Or no, because like, it, it has a ranged attack. It has yep. a range attached of 30 feet? to it. Yeah, that's just for yeah. ranged weapons. No, if it's if it's that if it's demoralized, that's just you can do it yep. within a radius. Yeah. Because I'm sure, like, your voice will, like... Sorry, I don't understand. Up. So I can't do it. You right. can't do it from this distance. Not from no. over yeah. here, no. It does not have range increments like a ranged weapon does. And it's just effects so like that are, hey, it can hit anything within this distance. Point blank, full stop. Okay. I, I do the flying thing. Fly. Like Casper the friendly Two. fucking ghost over here. Casper. <laughs> Friendly. Get on top of the the uh, get on top of the uh, fucking thing. Yeah, I see. You fucking rig. parasites, almost dead. <laughs> almost dead. Yeah. It's <laughs> fine in there. Speaking of which, here's Vet. 
We'll pick him up on the way out. <clears throat> why, why don't you just try to hit it instead of walk away? You're going to get hit anyway. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. You do have healing abilities. You are a healer. <laughs> I, I do. I don't know if you knew that. Implying picking the healing spells. Well, I mean, regardless, he has the healer connection, which means he has use... healing channel. It costs a resolve point to use, but he can heal 2d8. Whoa. As a move action for him. As a standard action, if he uses it on an ally he touches. And uh, in a 30-foot no, radius for all allies, if he's... Does it heal 2d8? Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. If it was only 1d8. No, it's 2d8. But he has to use a resolve action? That's not what it, it says. The healing channel? You can heal yourself. Mystic, uh, yeah. Uh, Mystic this cure. energy. No, 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 no. That's Mystic Cure. I'm talking about Healing Channel, which is a special ability granted by your connection. But you do also mm -hmm. have Mystic Cure. You can cast that too if you want to. Oh, Healing Channel. There you go. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It does cost a resolve point every time you 2D8, use Healing Channel. Yeah. Though. Do I need 2d8? Yes, I need 2d8. <laughs> so yeah, you can go ahead and roll that out. It doesn't automatically take off your resolve points, so you need to change that yourself. But as right, a move I'll... action, you can heal yourself for 2d8. And just click damage. Oh, I need it. Yeah, that's, that heals you up to full. By the way, uh, this effect hit, uh, affects your hit points, not your stamina. You don't regain any stamina. You just heal your hit points 11 HP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just heads up. So you do max out your HP. Uh, you do have a, a standard action that you can do. Oh, so I can attack. Yeah, yeah, that's a move action if you cast Healing Channel on yourself. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, it's a very good that. healing ability. So, yeah, that is actually. I didn't know I had that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit it with the butt of my uh, needle rifle. That would be an improvised attack. Give me a... Basically, use your unarmed strike for the okay. attack roll. Yeah, this is essentially what you're doing. Just using your strength. Oh. And I think the damage is the same, too. Unarmed strike has a oh, okay. D3. You're Just essentially using a club here. Like oh, unless I rolled it twice. Like attack. Well, you didn't roll it. Yeah, you didn't roll anything yet. <clears throat> Five does not hit. Oof. So yeah, you like, oh. after he putting healing energies within your body, and you can describe that however you want, by the way, that's that's a, that's a you thing. Uh, um, okay, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll describe that. <clears throat> I haven't really thought about it, but I guess... <clears throat> if you have anything specific uh, in mind. Well, my circuitry kind of like lights up green. Ooh. And uh, I'm rejuvenated. Yeah. Uh... When you go to hit with the butt of your rifle, it kind of backs away. Or actually, more rather, you do hit it with your rifle, but like the butt, it doesn't move it at all. It just uh, tings off the side of it. And it just goes, there's some good two-for-one deals at Pratt's Produce. You should check it out. Uh, and it is Thanks. a jump turn. For the hundred time. <laughs> uh, what is it going to do? What is it going to do? What, is it, what does it want to do? All right, it's gonna go ahead and do another slam attack on uh, Paris events. Surprise, surprise! Please don't hit. Eighteen. Uh, uh, that hits. Uh, uh, so don't hit. Go... Yeah. Don't hit hard. Oh How about God. that? Oh, that is. Oh, that guy hit hard. That guy hit it hard. <laughs> hit <laughs> you know, for supposedly having intelligence, this thing doesn't seem to understand what uh, no means. It's essentially on its own circuit path, uh, unfortunately. Okay, awesome. Um, so that is quite a good thing you healed. Uh, Belose. Good thing I'm tanking the shit out of this thing, eh? I'm going to use my final uh, cast to cast the uh, Junk Shards again. All right, give me that attack roll. Or not attack roll, go throw it out. Uh, and it's a okay. reflex save. 14, apparently. Yeah, I think it is for you. I kind of want to take a look Ooh, at that after. It fails. So you can manually put in the save. You can. It's just broken right now. Like the whole the whole system it has a problem with save DCs well, for some reason. How do you kill it? Uh, fucking one junk shard just lodges itself in the back of its neck, 
another junk shard like it just kind or all three junk shards just kind of like concentrate onto the back of the neck and kind of pop its head off <laughs> so yeah in front of you Persevet, uh after getting slammed and nearly killed uh you see that these like it's about to raise up its fist again the slam you again it's just two for two 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 for and then its head just pops off and like into your hands <laughs> And then it just crashes down to the ground and starts spilling out oil. Uh, and that is the end of combat. Ooh! So, I heard it say the last thing about the two-for-one at, at the... At what's it called? Uh, uh, it ate shit! The place, at, that, the at, place uh, that we picked up our berries from. Yeah. yeah. So I we heard that? Yep. Oh. Like, I, I was close enough to hear that? Yeah, you heard that. Okay, can I go inspect the junk thing? Yeah, sure. Okay. Kind of just want to see uh, if there's uh give me a if there's any relation check. between it and the Pratt produce. If that's just like a, a pre recorded thing that it just is loaded up with random pre recordings. Yeah. Uh give me I guess a computers check. But you we kinda need a hacking okay. kit, so like an engineer. Wait, check wait, maybe. wait. Uh, can you use mind link because mind link like shows it's like dead. information. It is it is fully disabled. You could not get anything from it that way. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. Um. So what am I doing? Uh, give me a. Well, you don't have a hacking kit, so you wouldn't be able to access its systems. Uh, the only thing you could do is a perception check to try to lean over it. Maybe it has something on it that was a, that's a dead giveaway. But somebody else would need to like look at it. Somebody who has like a hacking kit and the kits to do this. Like me. Right? Yeah, like you. Like me. Too bad I don't care enough. Let's go. Yeah. Um, get, our, get, our, kinda... get our box. They can take care of the corpses. I'm sure the authorities that don't apparently exist on this planet care. Appar you hear Let's sirens off in the distance, oh, actually. Way, it's <laughs> time to go. Yeah, the sirens are getting louder as some people seem to uh, have kind of just hiding in their cars. And there is, you do see uh, like uh, off in the distance some police cruisers that are coming up. Great, I don't suppose we can leave now. Well, this is going to be a little bit awkward to explain uh, not forget to the, that one box. To you the want authorities, to talk to the, you know, the yeah. authorities that I don't want to be involved with. Do you with. want to take off, or do you want to talk to the authorities? Uh, I think... is getting pretty skeeved out by right now. I'm just going to very nonchalantly, hearing those sirens, kind of start trying to get the cargo back on the, the truck as quick <laughs> as possible. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're able to hook it up there pretty fast. Uh, All right. I'm going to kind of tap razor on the shoulder as i go just we need i'm to getting go. i'm getting in the truck like the driver's seat ready to leave. <laughs> yeah, as, after i get the, the box loaded up i'm just tapping you like we gotta go i'm all right in the car man yeah, i'm in the I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the trunk we already are, are we, are got we, slammed twice. we got all our babies on board here hell yeah all right let's get moving let's get so, uh, a, a, a lot of cars drink. a lot of cars are currently like um uh, are currently great. stalled and whatnot. So what you're essentially, I need you to give me a piloting check at negative I mean, two for your car. Got, all right. Yeah, so I, yeah. um, uh, I think you're going to have to bulldoze through some people. You might have to. Maybe. <laughs> if we're down with that. And for the record, they're going oh. to be down after that. Yeah. So you see like some people are kind of like just I, in the way. Like some people have like completely stopped their cars because there's been a shootout. And you just... Um, you, uh, can I grab like... Can I have grabbed the head at least sure. or something? Yeah. You have the head. <laughs> um, you, you, just start, the you just start oh. taking <laughs> off. Yeah. So uh, you you see the sirens off in the back and you're just like, nope, nope, I'm not. We don't want to deal with law enforcement right now. And you start taking off through some yeah, back streets and whatnot. Yeah, some back streets and whatnot head back over the ship's ends. Like, you're just trying to, like, not make it obvious where you're going immediately in case they try to chase after you. Uh, but you do have... eight hours unloading cargo, right? <laughs> um, and some of you took some damage. So if anybody wants to try to regain stamina points, you guys can take a 10-minute rest to uh, spend one resolve point and regain all of your stamina. Is this place pretty busy? I'm going to yeah, take my time. Like, to so this is, like, a market area? Well, it's a shit. It's a... 
there's ships coming in and out. There are people traveling to and fro because it is like a ship port. It's like a, it's like um, one of the I just want to see if I can buy a hacking kit. Like, um, uh, while you guys are unloading stuff, yeah, you could. You could use yeah, yeah, you got you got eight hours it. to shop around, yeah, boss. I got because I can't. I'm not. I'm not helping. So I'll go shop. What do you um, mean? What do you although, mean? <laughs> well, drive this bitch in the garage and go. Does it, um, that bitch can stay on the trailer. Ha however, I do require six credits. <laughs> <laughs> um, unless I can sweet talk someone into giving me a discount. Uh, you might be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, like I, I said, for anybody who credits. took anybody who took stamina damage can actually go ahead and spend one resolve point to regain all your stamina points. Do we do we got to? You if, well if do you, you, want to, if you want to? Well, you're. I think Pierce of Ed is currently at one HP and no stamina. So I mean, it's really up to you guys hey, if you want to. I wanna... never said I'm going to use anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I know. I'm just saying you can. If you don't want to, by all means, don't. You don't no, got it. Fuck yeah, just... I'm gonna do that. Holy you regain all your stamina point. You regain all your resolve points after an eight-hour rest. By the way, so like, so as soon as you get on your ship and get the fuck stamina, out of here, minus one resolve. Yeah, pretty much. Got it. Um, and anybody can do that as well. So you guys uh, do approach your uh, your ship, the BD five one four, with your cargo rig. Uh, you do know that it would be nigh impossible to fit the whole uh, extended trailer in there, so you do have to spend eight Fuck hours to unload it. Yeah, because that thing is like fifty feet long, and I don't think our you, ship's that long. Yeah, and you might even need to like go into the next day because it is kind of getting late. Uh, Can yeah, we saw the trailers sticking in both hat cargo base? Not oh. without getting a fine. Another big crushing. Maybe what? Uh, oh wait, actually, they wouldn't be on top of each other. But uh, yeah, so if uh, uh, I mean, Richard, if Richard does want to go ahead and try to buy a hacking well, kit, by all I means. Know, yeah, can I, can anyone lend me like six credits? I may be able to return it to you. I'll give you see. six credits. Yeah, just in case <laughs> okay. he fails to persuade him. Right? Yeah, just in case I fail. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, then I'll go see if I can buy a hacking. I'm not kit. gonna trust some role to do a, something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Can I? try and uh yeah. persuade someone you... to give me a, a slightly used perhaps uh straight <laughs> off ebay hacking kit yeah so you uh you uh look up on google maps where right uh, the nearest <laughs> the nearest space best buy is or the nearest space <laughs> radio maps. shack hey, and we can't, you... we, we're gonna get copyright strike it's google maps yeah <laughs> um and you head on over there, and it's not too far away. There's one pretty close to the spaceport for obvious reasons. Um, and you head on inside, and there's like, how can we help you today, sir? And it's just like Boy, the do I like, love best purchase. <laughs> it's like we're always happy to help out customers, and it's like that frantic like happiness of like a guy who's trying too hard to be friendly. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be. Well, wait, hold on. Are these are they? These are people. People. These are people. 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 <laughs> Like they're not, they're not they're not robots, right? Sorry. People. It's they're not kind of robotic for a second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's that was what I'm saying. It's like they sound almost robotic in the fact that they're trying to be too friendly. Right, but they're but they're actual people. They're not the actual yeah, Lashanta people. Yeah, okay, people, well then but... I speak telepathically and I'm like, well, I haven't decided whether or not to spend my money at such an establishment. <laughs> well, I, I can assure you, sir, we have some of the credits. best we have some of the best products in uh, all of, uh, of Castrovella. Uh, uh, we pride well, ourselves on... I'll be the on... judge of that. So bring me <laughs> one of your run-of-the-mill hacking kits. Let's see if they're oh, up to snuff. Oh, you are uh, doing some pen testing, kits. sir. <laughs> uh, and he brings out uh, a few a few displays, some of them ranging from some of the best you've seen to some of the worst. Uh, and it's just like, we have a huge selection here, sir. And if, if I might point your... Uh, attention to the one that is clean and sparkly uh gonna be the fucking expensive one <laughs> I, I i pick it up i inspect over the tools um <laughs> give it a good shake and um how much would you charge for this this is this oh, is your uh this is shiny this one is... but everyone knows shiny doesn't actually help you whenever you're hacking well it it is uh about 250 credits but it it is it is top <laughs> of the line and it will serve your needs for life it's yes, I'm sure. I'm sure your years. fancy silverware here may <laughs> fool some of your other customers. And I pick up the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> and how much would this one run me? Well, that that that, that one would run you about uh, 
20 credits, sir. Uh, it's not as good. It's... <laughs> I assure you, the two hundred and fifty mm -hmm, dollar yes. one is is much better. Much for someone that, of your stature, I'm sure of your intellect, even would make you great use of this one. Of your wealth, I, I <laughs> smell it. <laughs> you no. smell it. There's someone pissed and in it. I <laughs> what? I yeah, there's like I like do. you can see that it's been refurbished, but somebody did piss in it at some point. Okay, it still how much smells. is like? Okay, is there? Uh, and I. Uh, I kind of bend one of the tools a little bit just to see. If it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's quality tool right there. When it bends, that you know you you got yourself a deal. I mean, I don't mean like a, I don't mean like a like I bend it like uh, like a paperclip. Like I bend it at where it won't like. It's like a gold back. coin. I just kind of like flex test it, like see yeah. how how flexible is it. It says made in the Soviet <laughs> Union on it, and it's. <laughs> um, no, it's it, interesting. It, it does. Mm -hmm. It does and, appear uh, to be fully functioning. Yes. So, it, so I wipe off some some dust and I said, "Oh yes." And how long has this been sitting on your shelf? Uh, and he reads it. I don't remember putting it there. And how long have you been here? <laughs> I've been here for twenty years. <laughs> and that's what I thought. Uh, I start looking towards the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. <laughs> um, yes, how much our, our uh, economic. One of these kits? Our economic selection. Well, I mean, this one right here would be run you about a hundred credits, sir. Are you actually looking in the book for these? Out of character? No. <laughs> okay. I, if you buy the, the middle one, you will have bonuses when you use it, but you don't have the money to buy it. So, not with that attitude. <laughs> I'll be right back as I go to steal all my friends' money. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, they, okay, they're just average. Like mm, yes, well, so I see you have the crumbling, the withered, and the tin <laughs> options. <laughs> um, well, I assure you, this is our gold <gasps> package, made out of pristine gold. Uh, you know, gold is the softest metal. <laughs> one of the softest. <laughs> but that's why it's so expensive, and he like gives you a knowing look. <laughs> like that's supposed to be a selling point. Do you take do you take me for a fool? No, I take you for quite the intelligence person. As you are all brain. <laughs> well, then I think you would also know that I'm not about to spend a uh, a month's worth of food on a pair of slightly worse than average tools. I will pay you the 20 credits for the middle one. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. And it's a, it's a pretty high DC because it's like more than 50% off. Persuasion? Uh, I don't you think there good, is persuasion. There's diplomacy. Diplomacy. My bad. Yeah. You got, you got yeah. good charisma. Come on, Captain. <laughs> Uh, 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 trying to think if I like. I'm about to give you twenty. We call it good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> and he's just like looking back and forth. <laughs> Sir, these do have fixed price points. I. And he just looks at you with your menacing brain aura, and you're just like, he's very clearly not going to be able to get one over on you. It's just like, 20 credits for the middle one. <laughs> but, but, day, but, sir. we do have a customer questionnaire that you can fill out online, uh, and there are bonus rewards that you can get for doing so. Nah, and he gives receipt. you a link on the receipt. I'll yeah. do that next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 20 credits for the middle one. Also, you can have a plus one bonus when you use this one for hacking. Uh, okay. I can't believe that fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the fucking 25. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, mean, you come back. Plus eight to this yeah, fucking... you, you, you come back to the ship and like people are loading stuff on and you just have this fancy like middle grade hacking kit. And that's I just like a walk up to them and I'm way. like, yeah. uh, so where's my six? Oh, 
How the fuck I, did you get that? I got us a pretty good kit for the for all the for well I I put in my a little bit of my own credits but um I got Wait, a you good asked kit. to borrow credits that you had some? <laughs> I, I didn't have enough. I only had I only had fourteen and like on the thing it says a toolkit is twenty credits, so that's why I was like I need six to get up to that. Uh, to the okay. 20. Okay, Captain. Okay. So I needed six more. Like I was six short. So I, I put in I put in a few of my own credits. Um <clears throat> well uh you know I uh I, I got us a pretty good kit for the price. I think uh think it will come in handy. Um I am more than willing to pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> in the what? meantime, in the meantime, I understand you're looking for money now. I am willing to lend you one of my batteries. <laughs> what batteries? I have. I pull out my bag of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have spare batteries for your weapons. Uh, well, actually, shit. You don't use a battery-powered weapon. Uh, if you need batteries, I have batteries. Uh, six... I don't need batteries, man. Uh, well, I'm um... sorry. How you got that for six credits? Uh, <laughs> you see, it's the art of the steel. Um, the five finger discount, as they say. Yeah. Um, Gonna need two hands for that, man. Yeah, you only have like three fingers a hand. I did get it for six credits. For well, not six credits for fourteen. Well, twenty credits total. My fourteen and your six for this. So, uh, okay. you guys do know Check that loading out. up, yeah, loading up the 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 car, or sorry, loading up the ship, the BD five one four, will take about eight hours, and that will pretty much like put you through the night. So it's like, what do you, uh, how long do you want to spend doing that? Do you want to go to bed at some point? Definitely. Can I tinker with that head now? <laughs> yeah, while they're loading up the cargo, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So give me a computer's okay. check with a plus one bonus. Okay, so uh, also can you add a plus one thing to the... To no, do it yourself. <laughs> well, I meant like, well, you know how you do the thing that I check it if I'm using... Yeah, the yeah, just add a plus one on the roll thing for now, though. Like, for I'll now? Have to do it later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, you start tinkering around with the computer and you manage to turn it on, and it just goes, two for one deal at Pratt's Produce. And then it just kind of like fizzles and it goes, like, So we're gonna hit the car, right? And then it fizzles again. It's like, two for one bonus at Pratt's Produce. And then it fizzles again. It's just like, Yeah, 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 those Niaro berries are gonna make, make us so much. And two for one deal at Pratt's. And it just fizzles out and dies. And that's unfortunately yeah. all you were able to get. You just you weren't okay. able to recall any information uh, from its data centers. It just I mean I can and... I can understand that it was a planned attack. Then I, like they knew that they were going to hit us for Yarrow berries. Like yeah. it wasn't just that they were just hitting a random supply truck and hoping to find something. They knew that we had berries. <laughs> and give me a what would it be? Because this might be like just a bit of information. Give me a. Uh, intelligence check or or sense motive something along those lines um i'll do sense motive because i have the the extra d6 to it mm. my expertise <laughs> 10 great <laughs> uh, unfortunately you're not able to piece much together about uh anything else other than yeah this is probably a planned attack specifically on your truck Okay, and I also spray oil on the ground, and I kind of just pretend like it wasn't me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys, do you want to go to, like, it's currently 6 p.m. Um, do you always want to, like, load it up tomorrow, or... Uh... Well, we gotta get this shit going. All right, so you can work through it's the night. It's going up tonight. Yeah, all right. Then uh, I will need fortitude saving throws from everybody who's working. Or to do what? If, if I help, does, hey, man, it, I didn't see does it reduce the time? <laughs> Wait, what kind of throw? Fortitude. Uh, a fortitude saving throw. It should be on your sheet. Uh, top right somewhere. Not super top right, like middle right. Uh, oh, fortitude. Right next to your, fortitude. Yeah, fortitude, yeah. I 
And I believe... Uh, one second, I am so sorry, as I look up something real fast. Nope, I didn't put it down. I thought I put it down. Anyway, uh, uh, so who rolled what? I got 13. 14. Um, un- I got a 14 as well. Uh, unfortunate. like, you guys are able to stay awake, but your, your work gets sluggish as you go on, so it adds an extra hour uh-huh. on top of it. For nine hours. Ah. Can I uh, yell at them to go faster? Shockingly, <laughs> oh, no. Don't, don't yell at an already <laughs> exhausted and tired crew. So boss. it is it is three in the morning as you guys finally finish up loading up the, the trailer and you guys are all exhausted. <clears throat> and you have some negatives nice. to like pretty much everything right now. Except for the one that's probably sleeping right now in their bed. <laughs> Who's sleeping? Just the fucking, fucking manager. manager. Take, take a fucking the so-called piece of shit that I'm going to fucking end. <laughs> I tell Tarn to wake him up. <laughs> right away, sir. And immediately... Right inside the common sleeping room. <laughs> Did you I don't get think he heard Doritos, him Tarn do it mom? louder. <laughs> um, so, Tarn... You guys can like take a um like do you guys want to get like the ship in the air first uh or what's what's the plan here? Oh uh, yeah. That thing Blair. We probably need to get this craft moving. All right. And then Unless, just well, how sleep long, when you have time. How long can we How long can we stay on this platform? Uh you're you can pretty much let the AI know uh the AI docking procedures know that you're leaving at any time. Okay. I yeah. mean, like, if we were to sleep in the ship tonight, you could do that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I got, I got a, I got a pill of stay awake if you want. I, <laughs> right? I think the no. only, <laughs> the only one that currently is like fine, fine is Ashlyn. So she could probably, if you wanted her to, fly the ship out while you guys take a nap. And then, like, just take ships. Uh, uh, I am I'll, the ship's captain. I'll take the ship up. <laughs> All right. What well, are you trying to say? You never been the best pilot, Ashy. You know, I never really. <laughs> I didn't say you weren't the best pilot. I just said, you know, if you're tired, I can what? take point for a little bit. Well, yeah, once we're up there in space, we can do that. I surely yeah. can get us into space. Don't call me Shirley now. I told you that before. My name's not Shirley. I'm um, fully aware. By this time, the storm has completely let up. Uh, it is stark dark out because it is like It was midnight, fucking but... storming! Yeah, yeah it, was it was storming all this time. Um, oh, good. We were getting rained on. Well, what you're were... saying is yeah, we much. were fucking sweating well, in we rain. Blasting bitches. So are we sweating um, or are we just soaked? So it is currently not a check or anything to fly the ship out of spaceport and up into oh. atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, can uh, but it would we'll still it. it would still be a check to navigate to Akaton though. Right. So, yeah, no, I'm, I don't plan on flying the bitch. I just plan on taking I'll off. Take care of that. Uh, uh, you have a negative two modifier for the fact that you are exhausted. Right. Wait, can we just get in the space, like rest while we're in space? Yeah. You, well, wanna... when you're when you guys are making the drift jump, you can like it. It will take a number of days to finally get there. Well, I'm wondering if like before he makes like the piloting check like i don't know i I think we just don't want to be on the planet well yeah that we i don't know whatever no what we're saying is we're gonna jump and then set cruise control and uh just kind of take a nap you guys do know that these berries expire in like six days well seven days you have six days to deliver them we know and you already used up one just to load them all up onto the fucking (laughs) ship so you know because we're having to fucking carry captain wheat sauce stick over here (laughs) All right. I, literally, gonna, if I help, gonna, if I get us up in space, I would have like right now. Anything Let's out. get this moving. So you need that stay awake, boss. Oh yeah, you guys no. have that. I've taken too many drugs in my time, <laughs> Belosi. Okay, okay. Well, it's always it's, available. It's hard for me to even remember who you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's if I didn't have my exocortex and keeping a data profile of everybody here. 
So yeah, you're able to get up into out, out of atmosphere fairly easily, uh, yes. and you can go ahead and make a navigation roll to get the Akaton. I'm any, assuming uh, you want to use drift travel too, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Is there any uh, any With chance all the I dangers can, involved? I can do anything to help mitigate this uh, this issue, seeing as I'm the only one you not can... completely floored. Yeah, you can take the aid action and roll a piloting check with the DC of 15 to try to give a plus two bonus to the roll. That's uh, just I help astrogate. I mean, uh, I just already get a plus astrogate. two insight to piloting checks with well, my compass. You're negative so, two right now because you're tired. Yeah, but I have a plus two with my compass, so yeah, it kind of cancels true. it out. It's however you want to run it. Do so I... I, just, I would just do a literal regular roll for piloting. All right, then do it. Okay, so I will. I Maybe I will, Jack. I don't have Maybe any rank piloting, so... Uh... Damn! It's 16. The good yeah. news is, DC was 10, so you're good. Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're, like, while I everybody did, else was, is, like, getting okay. off to sleep, you're, like, kind of taking the helm, and as the uh, ship uh, gets off, uh, gets out of atmosphere, you uh, ha go ahead and try to in initiate the drift engine. Uh, you notice the entire ship starts to gleam and starts to fade as it teleports itself into another reality. Uh, and eventually, after its full, uh, after the uh, the full startup sequence, uh, the ship pops right out of reality into this purplish void that you recognize to be the drift. Uh, there's basically nothing for light years. Uh, however, the unique nature of the drift allows for uh, basically instantly traveling. Uh, light years in a given direction uh as a freebie uh mm -hmm. like you, like one object could be in one point in space in the drift and then all of a sudden for like no reason it's now light years the other direction uh. and that just happened and starship pilots make use of this to make very quick travel uh between star systems however in system yes. it's a little bit trickier so it still takes and i want you to roll this a d6 of days to get to your destination yep Come on, one. Oh, oh my no! God. Yeah, there are. Me. Wait, there I rolled are... for the ship. <laughs> <laughs> it so, wasn't really me, Jack. Uh, <laughs> Don't one, count one me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you guys will arrive basically on the day you meet, like at the end of your deadline. Great. Uh, so you will have like so hours. Unusual. Yeah, but you can take uh, like um, actions to. Um, Mitigate the oh, amount of time to I try to buy yourself hours. Beat this bitch up. <laughs> yeah, so we'll handle that next session as uh, you yep. guys do enter the drift and you all head on on to bed to sleep for the night as you are going to take on the next day. Uh, you're currently Not at the me. wheel, but there is like a watch order uh, that I would like yes. to go. There isn't really an autopilot, so you do kind of need to all be at the wheel I mean, at, at some point. Just, just put it on cruise control, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, there is that, but it's just mainly the watch to be sure. <laughs> Cruise control is like caps lock. You still have to fucking steer. Uh, but our crew, our marvelous crew, the BD-514, does in fact take off in the drift, heading for Akaton. I'm taking a shower and cleaning my gear. Absolutely. <laughs>